What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Flagrant 2 yeah. Podcast. Mm. No easy buckets, analysis by assholes, water cooler commentary for your sports needs. We are back. We're back. Okay, yep. all three of us. Yes. The squad is back. The squad the, is back. The gems are together, whatever that shit is. <laughs> the infinity stones. Infinity the stones stone? are together. We got all the stones, bro. <laughs> we got soul, heart, heart. fire. With reality. Is fire one of them? That wasn't. That's, no, that's Captain Planet. That's Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> that's close, close I don't know. I don't close know. Enough. All close I know enough. is the Indian dude had the worst fucking one in Captain oh Planet. Oh my God. Heart, do you remember Captain Planet? That's Heart's the most important one. What are you talking about? I mean, not it, when it's... you got like a bad guy that don't recycle. What make Michael Jordan great? <laughs> Heart. <laughs> but it's not six, tangible. Six. It's not I'll tangible. Take, man. I'll take the 6'6 six, six and high jumping ability stone, please. Oh, fucking Manute yeah. Ball 7'7. Seven, seven. Garbage. No heart. jump. You couldn't jump. So y'all saw. Manute Ball had mad heart, son. He came from nothing. Nothing. Y'all saw, Sean uh, Bradley, you no know, heart. Manu Bo's son is like the shit. Yeah, yeah. Bo Bo. Bo Bo. Yeah. That motherfucker. But like, it's fucked up when you first see him because like you, you're a Manu Bo fan and you think yeah. he's going to talk like Manu Bo. I'm sorry, a Manu Bo fan? No, I mean, not a Manu Bo fan, but yeah, like yeah. if you ever hear Manu Bo talk, you expect his son to talk like him. Yeah. And yes. he talks nothing like him at all. Like he talks well, just he like. he just speaks like he's from America. He, yeah, he speaks like he's from fucking like Soho or some yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. which is like. But his face is foreign. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, jarring yeah. at first. It's like, oh shit. That's like, what happened when we were in, uh, we went to uh, Malaysia and Singapore together. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and the first language of people in Singapore, mm -hmm. okay, is English. Okay, okay. So we have, but they speak it with an Asian accent. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that could so, be jarring. Fam, <laughs> imagine you're speaking to an Asian and the Asian is literally be like, like, oh, where are you from? And you're like, and you're like, yo, what language do you speak? And he's like, oh, just English. <laughs> you know, that shit will throw you it out. It throws you for a Bro, minute. Bro, you're like, you don't speak no Chinese or nothing. No, I just speak English. English is my first language. And you're like, dog, you better learn some Chinese. <laughs> your accent is ready for that oh, shit. Oh, man, your, your accent is ready to get appropriated fast. No, so like, it sounds like they're making fun of Asians. Yeah, that's, that's what awesome. it sounds like. Like I'm, I almost want to be offended how you're talking. I'm like, that's that's, that's probably how they talk. Yo, you know what's probably so crazy, talk. dog? Is like, and and you got to give perspective on this because uh, I feel like the Indian accent is now becoming racist too. But uh -huh. like, there was a <laughs> time now where becoming racist. Well, no, there was a time where all accents were fair play. Mm -hmm. Dog, it's a funny sound. It sounds different, <laughs> so it's funny. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's all. The Yo, way I speak Hindi gets made fun of every time I go to India. Yeah. So, so I was I was on uh, Craig Ferguson. You guys remember Craig Ferguson? Yeah. I was on his uh, Sirius XM radio show today, right. okay. and uh, we were talking about the Apu shit. Yeah, yeah the, the, the problem, problem with, with Apu. Apu. Yeah. And Ferguson goes, "What about the problem with the Scottish guy yeah. that <laughs> cleaned up the school? Yeah, the fucking bumble groundskeeper <laughs> Willie, groundskeeper bumble, Willie. Like that's yeah. that's that's the thing that kind of threw me about the Simpsons. Right? Like I understand like just because it's been you know accepted for a number of years, like and it might have made people uncomfortable, and because now. Now they have a voice and now they want to show like for the past 30 years I've been uncomfortable I get that but like Everyone gets made fun of on that show. Like Homer himself. I don't. I Homer don't himself. Homer is himself is a, is a, is a, a factory working. He's a fat, stupid lower American. Middle class, <laughs> stupid American. Yeah. Like, but there's nobody taking offense to that. Groundskeeper Willie is just like a drunk Scottish dude. Yeah. yeah. Right? They got the bumblebee who speaks no English. That he was me. Like oh, all yeah, that he's shit. Mexican <laughs> he's a Mexican. Like all that shit. Like Yo, the whole that's, show. That's way worse than a That's football. what I'm saying. No, I'm like, Yo, don't even have a human on the show. And there's, oh, mad, and there's progressive mad character. The only progressive character is the black doctor. Facts, facts. Everybody else, you're making fun of the thing. And he's only a, a he's only an offshoot of, of Mr. Huxtable on on the Cosby Show. Ah, <laughs> that's all. That's all he is. Really? So it's like it's every everybody there is a They even had like a rape episode a where like you didn't realize it, but he was drugging Matt. I'm kidding. Andrew, believe it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Son, he was like really that. <laughs> they had mad Cosby episodes that came out where he was talking. Did you guys hear about that Cosby episode where he yeah. made the sauce? Yeah. Oh, the, the Spanish fly. Not even the Spanish fly. There's Not a Cosby episode, apparently, where he has this sauce. And, like, apparently, I don't know who the characters were. Maybe it was his son got back together with uh, his son's girl. They were uh -huh. beefing or something like that. But uh, the wife is like, the wife is like, oh, you see they're back together. You know, the, the apology Oh, works. and, and, they got, and he, he does, goes, like, the creepy fucking. He goes, he goes, that ain't the apology. That's my sauce. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the wife is into it and everybody at the party's making out. And it's like, oh, you just drugged everybody. You drugged your own family members. You just... <laughs> 
<laughs> and like he never tells anybody what's in the sauce. Neither he's like, you know, it's my secret recipe. We know what's in the sauce. Like, we know what's in the sauce, Bill. I okay. know I started this, but it got too real, and I don't really want to be dragging Bill like this. So you know what? Uh, come on, you can okay, drag good. Bill a little Bill. bit. You can drag him a little bit. Yeah. You can absolutely <laughs> drag him, okay? Because you he can. dragged of those you can. unconscious women back into his bedroom <laughs> when he had sex with them. Of course, you can. I just eat the sauce. You know what? You know, I feel you because it was like. I've been on record about like being like an R. Kelly like apologist. Not apologist. Apologist is a strong word. You yeah. know how you know Cash is making money, by the way? Look at his beard. That shit is beautiful right now. There you go. Glossy. Some multiple <laughs> job done. beard. My man is working with changing LeBron, the subject yeah. right? I know. Right? Right? I know right? Right? You see how smooth it was. It was a smooth transition. Akash drugging but my beard, If there's anyone. Exactly. I only. That's I how a gentleman drugs bitches. <laughs> <laughs> compliments. There you go. Listen up, Cosby. You see that? Just tell them they look nice. Then you can fuck them. You can still have sex with them without drinking them at all. You can I even promise. ask them to pretend they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, I get what Akash is saying, man. It's like I'm not an R. Kelly apologist. Is a strong word. I'm not okay. an R. Kelly apologist. Okay, I'm a fan of his music. And it's hard to be a fan of his music without knowing that, that he's a terrible fucking person. Probably, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like. Even just hedge his bets of probably. That's what you got to do. No, he's, he's he's almost definitely terribly, definitely well, a get horrible it. person. Yeah, but can't you? Okay. It's, it's not worth. Should be a fan of somebody's work and not a fan of who they are. Nah, I the think I think Cosby. It gets to a point where it's just kind of not worth it. How about the Constitution? Big fan, <laughs> big fan of the Constitution. Hilarious. Huge fan, right? Uh -huh. Not a big fan of owning slaves and stuff like that. <laughs> really bad. Most of those dudes, really bad. Yes, I understand there's a context of time and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> but still, it, it, it's just context, I'm sure. But big fan of their work. Yeah. Well, okay? I, I, it's, it's... Here's the thing that makes it tough for me with Cosby is if you were an immigrant kid, your parents didn't understand anything about American culture, but the Cosby show was the one show we could all sit down and laugh at. Mm -hmm. And that was like, you probably didn't get a lot of moments with your family where y'all bonded over yeah. entertainment. Yeah. So that show meant something to me as a kid. So it's and a, lot, like, a lot of people too, not just you, you know what I mean? Like a lot of, not black, white, whatever. Like yeah. everybody grew up on the Cosby show, but. But especially my parents didn't think any American, it was just over their head. They didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Cosby show, they got it. They thought it was funny. Like, Oh, this guy's funny. I understand what he's saying. Yeah. It's, it's positive. I can watch it with my kids and not be comfortable. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of those shows for me growing up. So that, it was like a, that show meant something. I, I understand that. But like to, to a, a whole section of other people, like they watch this loving doctor guy be, you know. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. Flagrant. Flagrant. So oh, those 65 people. <laughs> Let us be flagrant. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, yeah, nah, I'm not driving down that road. At no, all. no easy bucket, dog. Dude, it is wild. Like, he must have done way more than sixty-five. He had to. That's just the sixty-five. That's that like came one a through. year. That's like the Candy Man or whatever that guy is. What's his name? But that only comes back every few years. Or something like that. One a year? Because he's what? He, he was, wasn't drugging anybody when he was one years old. How old is he? He's like six. He's like eighty-three, right? <laughs> he Yo, he's, he's like seven and eighteen. So he's seven and eight. So seven and eight. Yeah. Oh my god! So what you think he was just having consensual sex? And then once we, one I mean, day he's he got to. He's got. To, he's had to have. He's had to have had that consensual sex one time, Dude. and then the one time like it didn't go as smoothly as one. He's like, yeah. well, <laughs> got, <it. laughs> got a solution for that, oh, man. <laughs> bro. There was a guy he said at my rapes. show. He, he says funny rapes. There was a guy at my show when I was in uh, when we were in Plano, and he was wearing a Hillman College uh, T-shirt uh, in the front row. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, and he's and he's uh, sitting next to this girl in the front row, and I was like, "Oh, Hillman College, that's pretty brave." It was literally the day Cosby got sentenced. <laughs> oh Jesus! Right, okay. and I was like, "Well, wow, it's pretty brave, you know, you know, being what you know happened today and everything like that." He's like, "Yeah, you know, I still fuck with them. I, you know, I appreciate my guy Cosby, you know." And I looked at the girl and I was like, "Sweetheart." <laughs> You're going to be having sex tonight whether you know it or not. <laughs> the most fucked up, Whatever the most you messed do. up meme I saw is the, is the Bill Fisher, Bill Cosby says, either we fucking fuck or I'm fucking. Fuck <laughs> so, like, yo, there's nothing sacred on the internet at all, dog. The, yo, nothing. have you seen the clip of him leaving a new, like a courthouse in Philadelphia? Yeah. And then everybody's asking like, pictures and then he just goes... 
Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I swear to God, it's Cosby doing it. Out of it's nowhere, so you didn't see this shit. No, funny dog. dog. Oh he's, my he's, God, this man don't care. He don't give a fuck. Like he knows he's going under the jail. Yeah, he's but he's like, not gonna fuck. know where he is anyway. It's like that, he's blind. It's like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like not for nothing. It's like, bro, like dude, my dad sleeps. You're on like the bottom half of life, day. dog. My dad's 75. <laughs> okay, he's sleeping 20. He sleeps like a lion. You know how lion <laughs> lions just sleep the whole day. They wake up, they fuck their wife, and then they go yeah, back to sleep. It's that's like, my dad. Only he doesn't fuck his wife. He just uses. Binoculars to stare at strangers in the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's seventy five and white. I swear to God, I walked into my. I walked into all the white people love spectators. My dad is by the sitting way. in the living room with binoculars, binoculars a different level. looking out the fucking window. I'm like, Dad, what are you looking at? He goes, eh, I think some people are arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, and you got to allow it. And you if allow somebody it, was it's thirty, like, that's creepy. Yeah. Seventy-five, it's just like let them live. It's, it's, what does uh, he have? You know, you know, if you're born and raised in New York, you just need people. You know what I mean? At some point, you're like, well, I just gotta. If I can't watch them fight in the street, I'll just I'll vicariously I'll watch. You know I mean? <laughs> I'll imagine it. I'll oh make up the words. Oh my gosh! Yeah, no, it's it's one of those things, man. Where it's you're Bill Cosby, you're eighty years old. Someone sentences you to like thirty years. It's like, all right, why are you being a dick? Like just say for life, you know. What I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Just, it's like just it's it's I'm done. Life. This I already got my seventy. I don't know, man. Years Good in. behavior. He could get out. In 15. <laughs> he's, not, he's not getting out. We see in life. You know what I mean? Like, it, if you're watching a baseball game, bro, he could have went in for like two years, and that's pretty much like you know, nah. He's and, not doing any time. He's got, he's gonna Hold get on. that. Alex thinks he's doing no time. He's not doing any. He's time. doing. Why time, do you think bro. that? Because he can appeal, and now you have. to. He stays out. It's going to take like another couple of years. I've said this before. Oh. And then lawyers just postpone, postpone. And then he just oh, dies before. Yeah. So he'll die yeah. before he ever goes to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's going oh. to go so Cosby won. paternal on it. It's like, <laughs> you think he won? I mean. Is that a win? I don't know if that's a win. Stay Absolutely. out of jail. Uh, well, you stay out the booty house. As long as you stay out the booty and house. He's too fragile good. to fuck anyway. Like, you can't. You break his <laughs> pelvis with one ass fuck. It's over. Yeah, it's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> There's that <laughs> one dude this. in jail waiting for Cosby to get in. Like, he's like, he's like getting the fucking the infinity gauntlet right now. <laughs> he's like, the fucking anybody in jail. You got to fuck this, this piece of garbage. <laughs> yeah, who would want to fuck him? I mean, uh, nah, somebody's gonna want that on there. Somebody's gonna want that on there. Like after a while, <laughs> it's about pride. I don't think it's about pleasure at that point. I think it's just about like, yeah, he's on my list. <laughs> this got real dark you real think fast. That much rape happens in jail? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I think it does. I do. You know how? What how, else are you doing? For Twenty four hours yo, a day. Jail. Think about you after two weeks though. of not fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, yo, know, that's my feeling. Like, I feel like they should mandatorily jerk them off. <laughs> no. I think they should have mandatory jerk offs in jail. No. Like, you put your dick into it's, like a yeah, but jail. They're not jerking off. It's, Say what? Who says they're not jerking off? No, no. They, I'm saying like get the cum out of their balls, and I feel like it'll be a way safer. So place. you you think you should? We so you're basically saying we should milk prisoners. Yes. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Dead serious. I think we should milk the prisoners, and then use the cream for like Sephora lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't you want that? <laughs> Con medics. Oh my god. Anyway, maybe we need, this is a sports Maybe show. we need a week off every once in a while just to come back and hit you with the real shit. Yo, <laughs> this is the most flagrant we ever been in the first 25 minutes. Dude. I'm th yo, one day we might just have to make this like subscribers only. only. Yeah, I think I'm with so. It. Eventually, I'm just saying eventually just because that's how you keep out the outrage. Yeah. yeah. Cause it, and it would limit I mean, this is way in the future, but it would it would limit the amount of people that would listen to the podcast, but it would limit them just the people who fuck with the podcast, yeah. and then you won't have to worry about somebody taking Nicki Minaj fans. Yeah, that, kind of shit that, like that. that, that garbage. That. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's funny it's, to me, not that funny to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it, man. I heard you're going to the six this week. Oh yeah, that's right. Real quick, <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say thank you so much to. Uh, to uh, everybody who got a, uh, uh, I gotta say thank you so much to everybody who pre ordered 551. Yeah. Um, Get that thank killing. you so much, man. I appreciate you guys so much for doing that, man. It was, uh, keep on, it's available now. It's, uh, the full album is going to be out June 18th, but get the pre-order. The pre-order is what helps us uh, kill those charts come June 18th. So pre-order that shit right now. It's available on my website, theandrewschultz.com. Um, the pre-orders have been massive, man. The, uh, the label hit me up and they said we already did more than George Lopez did in his whole pre-order hey, time. We did that right. like the first day. So I knew the asshole army showing up. Yes, so sir. I'll keep it tight one time. And if you fuck 
with me, man. You know I don't ask you guys for much, but if you fuck with me, please go out and pre-order this shit, man. I would appreciate that so much if you support I hit that me with this, man. This Yo, week. thank you, man. Before, I saw you post about this course, shit too, dude, man. Thank you so much, man. Always, um, always. Also, man, for views from the sis, I added a few shows. Um, we're gonna come to Boston, Chicago, Milwaukee, Madison, and I added another uh, London show. So you can get tickets for those at theandrewshows.com. If the ticket link isn't up yet, that's because it's in the future. Eventually, the club will get it up, and then we're gonna get up on our website. So just keep on checking back. And you are right. I am going up to Toronto for the shows this weekend, or the, uh, sorry, this Wednesday boy, in Toronto. Oh Alex is coming through. Yes. And you know what? Toronto's going to need some cheering They up. need some laughs. They're going to need they some need laughs. That's, that's why I like to come and deliver, when y'all need me the most. Because, man, if there's anything people in Toronto could use, shit. <laughs> somebody to deliver when they need them the most. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, I, dude. Look. God damn. I have never seen, like... All right, I see Jordan on the Knicks. Fucking Cosby. I've seen. I've seen <laughs> oh, Real talk, man. No, it's it's one thing. All right, the whole Jordan Lebron combo. We'll get into that in a whatever, second. Whatever, wherever you fall Toronto. on that, that, that's where you fall. We will get into that. I have never seen one player. Yeah. Have so much mental equity in one team's head that Lebron has on Toronto. Like it's. It's like fucking. It's like watching the Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner dog. Yeah. Like it's like, yo, the, that's perfect. It is yeah. like, it is academic. Like, who did not think LeBron was gonna hit a game winner once they tied it up, about to go? In, I mean, it was the craziest <laughs> game, game winner. No, dog. Like, I, it, it is so. It is so academic at this point. It's like Bro, it's, you know he's it gonna was effortless. It was effortless. It felt. It looked like a layup when I watched it again. I, Did I he mean to go off glass? Yes, yes. Of he aimed it. He cool. ran squared. It was so pretty to watch. Beautiful. Like it, so it left it left his hand at the perfect height. I'm like, it's gonna kiss yeah. right off the glass and drop right. Dude, in. he just decided. Exactly he that. just decided to have an amazing fadeaway jumper. Yeah, this season, Dog, this he, series. This, this is decided. This is like Jordan 96, that kind of fadeaway. If he develops that at a consistent rate, we're looking it's at over. old LeBron. Like, and this is what he's going to do. He's going to play till he's 40. He's going to have that fadeaway jump, and there'll be nothing you can do against here's him. Here's the thing. And, Unblockable. And people, and people like to say, well, Jordan's fadeaway was better. I'm sorry. I watched a lot of Michael Jordan growing yeah. up. I have never seen Michael Jordan make eight straight fadeaway jumpers in a playoff game on the road <laughs> Just to completely demoralize a team, like I saw, like after like the fourth or fifth one, I'm like, if he shoots another one, he's just a fucking asshole. Right? Kept and he on. does it, and it's it just kept falling. And yeah. I was just like, this is the great. If he's, if you, I want to call him the greatest, if you want to call Jordan the greatest, like it's all about amount, a, a, a matter of uh, perception or or taste at this point to me. But I've never seen somebody this. That, that just doesn't have a weakness, dog. Like, what is he not good at when it comes to play? Like, just as a professional athlete, like, what let's, can he let's, not Let's talk do? about the Toronto first. I think. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what we need to do. That's the real story there. And I it's... think it's important to point out that we, we point out when we're wrong. Mm -hmm. And everybody from Toronto was tweeting us, you guys are disrespecting the Raptors, you're overlooking yep. the Raptors, yep. and we kept telling you, you don't fucking matter. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I have to admit, I did say I think, I thought it was there. You year. did, you did. And you, I was you, wrong. Ha you had me wrong. wavering for a second, and I regret that second, but... I did not waver one Kaz was dog. Kaz was the firmest in his, <laughs> we don't give a fuck about you, Toronto. Yeah. I'm like, Yo, fuck is, you, man, Toronto. <laughs> fuck you, because I really rode for you, man. He did, he I did. rode hard for you, I was like, this is your year. I had this big explanation about how once every 15, 20 years, mm. a random team ends yeah, up winning man, it. You, hear you know, I really you went hard. He made oh, a you beautiful case. He, drew, he pulled on my heartstrings by bringing up the Mavs. Yeah. I said Mavs. I said Detroit. Yeah. Every, Houston. Every once in a while, you have this random team that wins a championship. This could be their year. They did everything to retool their and offense. And this is, this, is not, this is not a knock against the Raptors. They're, no, they're it's a very a, good it's, team. It's a, it's a knock them. against the Raptors. No, I, mean, <laughs> I need that to be clear. Yeah. This is a knock against the Raptors. You cannot not get knocked. You know you're getting knocked out of the playoffs every year by LeBron. <laughs> you getting knocked whether you like it or not. Bro, LeBron you know it shows the fourth seed. People yeah, yeah. <laughs> shows the fourth seed on purpose, just on so could, purpose so he so could he play can... them. And I thought he made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, this is not the year. These guys are killing That's it. They what got I thought. guys. This is not the year. I, I didn't. I didn't even think it was so much. This wasn't the year for Toronto. I just think the Cavs didn't have enough to compete. Like I just kept saying, like, oh, they just don't have enough. They're eventually gonna like LeBron's eventually gonna they run still out of don't. gas, and, but and I they still don't. I said this to Andrew. We watched Game Six of uh, Pacers Cavs. We watched a little bit of that before one of the shows in Dallas, and I said to you, 
LeBron is going to have an easier time, a much easier time against yeah. Toronto than he's having against Indiana. Yeah. I said that. Too, I didn't disagree. No. I thought you said you thought it was going to be really tough. No, no, I thought I didn't disagree. I was like, you're right. It is about matchups. Yeah. And he has harder guy. There are guys that are guarding him that are better on Indiana, and there are more looks for him to see on Indiana mm-hmm. than there is uh, with Toronto. And just that mental edge. I've never. Se- I've seen Jordan in the Knicks. And this is yeah. not who's better. I've never seen a mental edge like this. I'll be honest with you. And here's the thing. Even Jamar got a guard, got a guard, Braun. I don't know why this Why is Lowry? Already. This motherfucker built like swole little Duval, and you yeah. having him guard <laughs> Lowry? Yeah. I mean, you having him guard LeBron? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, it's, 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 I feel bad, dude, because it's like, you know what it is? Like, I want everyone to, like, take note of this and, and just watch this, because when you see how upset and sad Knicks fans are, and how delusional we are, and how much we hurt. This is why. This was our Knicks growing up. Yeah, it's like you're you're right. you, you're, you're at a top seed. You win like fifty plus games. Yep. You got a bunch of all stars. You're like, this is our year. This is our year. Yeah. But you just run into this buzzsaw named Michael Jordan Absolutely. every year, and he says no. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Toronto had a, 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 a they, their team is probably going to win Coach of the Year. Dwayne Casey's probably going to win it. You know what I'm saying? They have a very good team. They have two legitimate all-stars. They have a legitimate maybe top three shooting guard on their team. Like, they should at least sniff a finals. They should at least sniff a finals during this stretch run, during this run of this backcourt with year. the Lowry and DeRozans and the, and the Bacas and Valanciunas. is like this. Yeah. They should sniff a finals on paper. You know what I'm saying? LeBron just, he's one of those guys, man, where it's going to be like, a lot of great teams ain't sniffing shit because of me, you know? And it's, y'all could call it dick sucking. Like, there's a lot of people in the, in the, in the comments like, oh, you're just slurping LeBron. I'm like, all right, when, <laughs> when have you seen this? You, you, you haven't. But those guys said it before LeBron went up 3-0 on Toronto. Yeah. And it's probably going to be a sweep by tonight. We could be wrong. It could be 3-1. It'll be but, a gentleman sweep, maybe. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's but, what you're hoping for at this point. You think we're slurping LeBron. We, he's just great, and Toronto's not. Yeah. Yeah, they're just not. They're just. They're, they're, they're short one LeBron. <laughs> is what they are. You know what I hate? To, I actually do like a lot of their players. I think the fans are a little obnoxious, but they're really just good fans. Yeah, the good. real problem. I, I, I think. Why do you not like the fans? I just know a lot of Toronto people, and just the, the chip on their shoulder they have about America in general. I yeah. just find it a little annoying. Yeah, they get re- they get real personal when like you make fun of. Like, they just always make it about America versus Canada. Oh. And just, good. You know, well, cool. I just find it annoying, it. and it's funny to see them lose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but what's the? I don't know. It's like I, we get it. We, you have a much nicer and kinder and gentler country than us. We're talking whatever. about basketball here. Yeah. I wouldn't it's say. About I wouldn't say they have a nicer country. I mean, they're very. You know, they have, they're nicer. They're friendlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, at I least mean, we care for our friends, eh? At least, no, we have, <laughs> yeah, no, they're friendlier. They're nicer. But I, I, I mean, as far as country goes, like they don't have a choice but to be cold for eight months. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like they don't have a Florida. I mean, but like, their like, old people have to live in. Toronto. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you have a mom, she has to slip on ice every <laughs> single winter. Do you know what I mean? Because you guys wouldn't that invest in a fucking happening. Caribbean island. Take over some natives. That's what you do. You think about the future. You find some natives that still have secure fucking bow and arrows, future, and then secure that shit. Yeah. Right? There was plenty of islands there. Oh my god. Anyway, but but point is the. Um, I actually really love the Toronto fans because they get so ex- and Canadian fans in general because they get so fucking excited about the sports, etc. Mm-hmm. You know who I don't love is the fucking cuck Toronto media. Mm. Toronto media are a bunch of fucking bitches. Oh, you can I tell you? You should be embarrassed. By the by, the way, Toronto fans are listening. You should be embarrassed by your own media because they jump off ship so fucking fast, dude. <laughs> the first game uh-huh. where they played a great hard fought game yeah. and they were a tipping layup away from winning. Yes, yeah, yeah. The the cover of the paper had Valanciunas on his knees and it said "Bow to the King." It's like that. That's what you. The Ooh. first fucking game when you guys are tipping Ooh. away from it. It's like they can't wait to jump on you. They can't wait to suck bronze stick. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of uh, when Durant. When it was in Oklahoma City, yeah, and he missed that last shot or whatever, and, and on the front page in the playoffs, it said "Mr. Unreliable." Bye for KD. KD was Bye. like, oh, "Okay, all right, I'll show yeah, you." Yeah. Don't rely on me being here next year, motherfucker. <laughs> like, See you later. Like, rely talk. on this. Rely on this fucking I'm, trip. I'm, to look, the I understand you got to be objective. It is a journal, so that kind of shit like mm. that. But look, man, don't fucking the second you can throw your team down the river. That's some bullshit. Yeah, it's like I don't know. Also, just a good headline. What? Bow to the king with the picture, you know what I mean? Like it's just a good. It was catchy. I like, was like, hey, that shit is witty, man. I know like, how you, like, <laughs> you were editor. You put that up. That's good. That gets eyeballs. You know what I mean? They're in a business just like us. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's you're true, so understanding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, 
So, I mean... Is the problem Kyle Lowry? No. The problem is LeBron, the pro- LeBron James. James is just- you could put Steph Curry there. They suck. You could put anybody on that team. They're going to suck. It's LeBron James. It's- you need four guys to beat LeBron James. You mm-hmm. need four all-stars. Yeah. And you barely beat LeBron James. Yeah. Think about that. Look at the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. They're going to play LeBron again this year, and they will need every one of their all-stars to barely beat LeBron and James. That, and that has always been my argument for Jordan and James. Right? Let's have, let's say it right now. I'll, I'll, LeBron I'll, is the best ever. He's I'm a, sorry. A, as a he's talent. He's the best ever. I'm like, just as, I'm like, motherfuckers who passed the eye test. I'm like, yeah. I watched a lot of Jordan. Yep. Just give me the eye test. If we're out on the street and you got prime Jordan and prime LeBron in front of you, you are picking LeBron first to start your team. If you got one game you have to win, though, who are you picking? LeBron James. Oh, I'm picking man. LeBron. LeBron has made more buzzer beaters and clutch jump shots in the playoffs than Michael Jordan has ever had. Just this I season. just know the feeling. He's I... only hit three in the Whoa. playoffs. Michael Jordan only hit three. Whoa. LeBron has not but that's had like, six. That's not counting Utah because there's three seconds left on the clock. Or no, right? it counts. It counts. It was it was um, twice against Utah. Cleveland. And once against Cleveland. That's it in the playoffs. That is it. I could name five with LeBron right now in the past like three years alone. Where it's either a walk off game winner or a go ahead shot to win the game. Yo, it's true. And it's like just because it's, just, I understand it's not pretty. It's not a nice little walk off floater, fade away, no time on the clock, poetic type of thing. That's what people see as clutch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't see LeBron chasing down Andre Iguodala and punching his. That's clutch. You know what I'm saying? People so, don't see a so game winning layup. The knock on LeBron whatever. used to be that he wasn't clutch. The and knock on the bottom, yeah, well, it wasn't clutch, but also the knock on LeBron uh, used to be that he wasn't a killer. And mm. the reason they said he wasn't a killer because he never notched a, 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 a 40 point game in the playoffs. Yeah. And this season. I think he's had like four. Four. Like four. I forget. I could be off on that number, but it's, but it's he's insane. had multiple. He's, he's multiple, multiple just this season, right? And, and my, but, that, but that's the knock, right? The knock yeah. is sometimes you as a killer, you have to go out there and get it. And just do Kobe it yourself. would go out there and get it. Shaq would go out there and get it. Shit, uh, Reggie Miller probably went out there yeah. and got it. Jordan, we definitely know, went out there and, and got it. And that's why a lot of people would pick Jordan over James because it's like, well, I mean, I know if I got to just win one game and just— Score and just go kill and yada yada yada. yada. It's seven. It's not one game. It's seven. And I'm not gonna lie. This guy is fucking remarkable. And I'll put it like this. And I'll and I'll also add this. What is Jordan better at? LeBron. Michael Jordan has never beat a team in the finals or in the playoffs better than this Warriors team that LeBron has to go up against every single year. Of course not. The Warriors. This Warriors is an all time. Dynasty in the making, sure. one of the greatest teams assembled in history. Yeah, Michael Jordan has never had to Listen, go up against. I understand a team. That, that good. you don't want. He lost. Yeah, he lost. Uh, no, you're not. Listen, but, well, it wasn't against the fi- but it wasn't the finals. But yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and again, that whole uh, argument about he's six and six in the finals. It's like yeah, but you're not counting all the times he never even got to the finals. So I don't, exactly. I don't like that. That's another perfect example of like the triple double statistic. We just like things that are even. We like things with symmetry, right? right. Triple double is so amazing. Well, James Harden had one less assist, but one more rebound. Yeah, yeah, but that's not even no. close to as good. Is it not? <laughs> is it not the exact yeah. fucking same thing? We love symmetry. Six for six yeah. is symmetry. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes us calm. Yeah, We're, it's understandable. We need Round right? numbers. Exactly. Yeah. We need Round, that. Our mind just, can just process yin, that. Yang, yang. Mm. Yeah. You know, there's a reason Twin Towers stood up there and then one looked taller than the other and we were like, oh, why, why is... Why is, it, why is one bigger People are like, no, it's just the angle. I, I don't know. It still feels <laughs> like... Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah, sure, yeah. matter of fact, I'm <clears throat> sure that other buildings they've made around the world that are double, yeah. they've actually done next to each other, not at yeah. corners it's, because it's, it's, it's this awkward, size. uncomfortable situation. Right. Mm-hmm. right? So we want that kind of symmetry. Six for six sounds great. But he's really, how many years in the league? 16? Who, uh, Jordan? No, yeah. Gosh. Uh, 14? 14, 15. Something, something like that. But he's really yeah. six for 14. Yeah, because there were all those years that he didn't go to the playoffs. Or the finals. Or the finals. So it's you the know? same thing. Now let's look at LeBron. People never, people never count the year fucking Penny and Shaq got him out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people don't count the years that Larry Bird swept them. And so you know, all Detroit the swept them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jordan went to six. Mm-hmm. LeBron is three and four, Jordan six. You know, here's, I don't even want to get into that. Let me ask this question. Yeah. This yeah. might just be me as a kid. When? Seven finals by 33. Jordan went to three by 33. Fair enough. Mm. That's a good point. But when I was a kid, it was an inevitability to me that Jordan was going to win the championship. Yeah. I didn't really like Jordan. So maybe this is just a fan perspective. And yeah. LeBron, I root for. It's not 
I am rooting for LeBron it, that everything falls into place so he can win. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's so for sure Jordan is better, but that's the thing I always fall back to in my mind is like, yeah, but with Jordan in a close game, in your mind, it's inevitable. No matter who he's playing, he's going to come out on top. LeBron, I feel that way with Toronto. Yeah. I yeah. don't feel that way with Golden State. I don't really feel that way with certain, like a decent number of teams with mm -hmm. LeBron. Now I feel that way with LeBron. I didn't used to. This season has changed that for me. In Golden Same. State, tight game. You got, it's in your mind, it's inevitable LeBron wins. Yeah, I think he's, he's tight, you. I, tight I, game, I wish I felt that way. Him. I don't. You now, have, look, you have to, you have to. The, what the Warriors did that no team could do or have the ability to do is to step on his neck when he's down. Because yeah. if you give him a chance, if it's close, that's it. Bye. It's 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 he, he. You can't give him a chance. Like you have to step on the fucking. It's like the the, the horror movie. Like has LeBron just... ever been blocked? <laughs> Just in Has general, especially with a with, with a final shot. But oh no, he's been. I've seen it. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen Kobe, Kobe do it. Kobe do, did it to him. I Block think. LeBron on a final yeah. shot to win All -Star the game. game All Star think, game. Right? Yeah, it yeah. Count. It counts. Nah, they were going at. They it. were Kobe going hard. It was the fourth quarter. Come on, it come counts. on, come on, come on. I'm talking about real. <laughs> I'm talking about real game. Like the game winners that he's had yeah. were clean. Yeah. Like, nobody can get that kind of separation, that kind of ease on a shot. He either bullies you to the basket mm -hmm. or he fades away. And this is 6'9", fading away. Yeah. Shooting way above his head. Yeah. The elevating. He jumps higher than you. He's taller than you. He's more athletic than you. The, you're not even touching it. My, my, whole, my, whole, my whole argument with the LeBron and Michael comparisons has always been for you to not at least – amend what you think the greatest player of all time should be yeah. is to think that the game just stayed the same in the 90s. Yeah. You know what? This shit clearly evolved. You know what this is? This is people who had all their money invested in... Um, blockbuster? Fucking... Uh, this is people who had all their money invested in Blockbuster. And, or and Tower like Records. Michael Jordan is Blockbuster and Tower Records. And, and it was hot. It was popping. it was great. It was a Palm Pilot. Oh, yeah, you liked your little, your little awesome. fucking smartphone? Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, that was really great. No, some hotter shit came out, and you're invested. Yeah. You already bought thousands of dollars worth of sneakers. I got thousands of dollars worth of Michael Jordan sneakers. It's thousands. And you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at the second best player sneakers. <laughs> And I know it doesn't sound good. But it doesn't sound good, but thousands of dollars. So you're saying LeBron is waiting. LeBron is Bitcoin. LeBron is LeBron no, is Bitcoin, Netflix. The Bitcoin could flop. Yeah. Bitcoin been going up and down. LeBron Duh. is Netflix. LeBron is, LeBron Netflix. is fucking Jeff Bezos. <laughs> this motherfucker is Amazon Prime. LeBron is the iPhone <laughs> and Michael Jordan is a two-way pager. Facts. At the point, two-way pages were the shit. You just called Michael Jordan a sky <laughs> See, I'm not even, I'm wow, not winning. Dude. It's I'm true. Winning. It's Whoa. true, though. Like, everything on. evolves. At one point, the two-way pager was the fucking pinnacle of technology yep. and it's like this is the shit I can text and do this and all that oh but you don't know in about like 14-15 years there's gonna be some shit where that don't even got buttons it's just a yeah, fucking listen, screen so true like, I'm telling I'm telling you we won't appreciate this motherfucker until he's not playing I appreciate no more. the I'm a LeBron fan he needs his flowers and I right want now. him to be the greatest I'm just not quite there yet and I also think this is a difference that people will this is why I want LeBron to be the greatest, but it's why I think he might not be. If so, if God came down and looked at Michael Jordan and then put just some stranger in front of his face and said, you can win one more regular season game if you're willing to shoot this motherfucker in the head right now, <laughs> Jordan would just be like, give me the gun. Like, give me yeah, the gun. I, I think LeBron would be like, can I just like beat him up or something? Like I don't want to kill nobody. And Jordan would be like, I'll murder him and his whole family yeah. for one extra point. Yeah. MJ would be like, give me a bib so I yeah. don't get my, my, my Jordan jeans yes, dirty. Exactly. And, and that's right what I still face. think Jordan had that sociopathic will to win that I don't think LeBron Jordan had. Jordan misery. Yeah. yeah. Jordan, Jordan was miserable, is miserable. And that's why I want LeBron miserable. to be the greatest. Yeah. LeBron is not, by all accounts... Miserable. LeBron no. is actually enjoying his celebrity. Yep. He's enjoying his elite athletic ability. And he's good guy. A little bit of a diva, but good if guy. He does, yeah, it's win. like, what's the worst he's ever really done? No, he's done the nothing. Decision. He reminded you you're poor. That's yeah. what he did. He <laughs> said, I'm going to be rich tomorrow. You're still going to be poor. And we hated him for sure. it. Sure. I and didn't hate I thought it was great. He's Whatever. great. He's the greatest <laughs> thing he's ever said. The point, But the point being, if you're judging him based on the play, I'm ready to call him the greatest, man. He's a better I'm basketball ready. player. I think he's an overall he's a better, better he's basketball a better player. Talent, exactly. But I think Jordan might still be the GOAT, if that makes Why? sense. 
Because I just think Jordan, again, if they're on separate teams, I think Jordan <laughs> seems more likely to win. I just do. I might be wrong, I but that's where I sit with it. Why? I don't know, man. Jordan, because again, why? Jordan had a sociopathic will to win that I don't think LeBron quite has. He's got a serious. I'm not Look, knocking serial LeBron. Serial killers have sociopathic uh, wills to kill, and then they get stopped. <laughs> but I never saw anyone stop Jordan, and I, I also came of age, so he's more mythic to me in my mind because I was a kid when I saw him. That's another thing. It's like yeah. we think we watched Jordan. We didn't know shit about we basketball. Really, yeah. That's another thing. It's like we have all these ideas of what Jordan was, how he was good. Alex over here. Alex is fucking 28 years old. You saw Jordan <laughs> play for the Wizards. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking shit. You didn't even know what a fucking three-second call was when you watched Jordan play. We had no clue about defense. I didn't know what a legal Nothing. defense was yeah, we had back no then. no clue what anything was going on. We just saw a, ba- a ball go in a basket and we thought that was good. It's the same reason why girls like Steph Curry. They're like, oh, here's this cute guy shooting these shots from way far. He must be really good. They don't understand the nuance I mean, of his game. I mean, he put up crazy stat lines. Yeah. I think it was 35, 8, and 8 or 32, 8, and 8. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah, we didn't course. know what 8 and 8 was. Mm. All we cared about was 35. Yeah. We cared about him hanging in the air. But he had the 8 and 8. What I'm talking about is how <laughs> we reacted to right. it. What yeah. I'm saying is we didn't have the knowledge to appreciate it. Like if a tech guy looks at a, a an iPhone and goes, this is a great phone, mm-hmm. that means more than if a child does. Yeah. Because the tech guy knows what goes into that yeah. game. Right. And I bet you if you got NBA analysts, like legit dudes to break down their effectiveness, mm-hmm. I bet you LeBron comes out on top. We've got to get yeah, Jeff Gant- Van Gundy I, on this podcast. And I just him. so the argument that Akash is making it sounds like a rapper. <laughs> Eminem is probably the most technical rapper, but people still put Biggie and Tupac above him. Yeah, yeah. Why? It's it, that's what I I'm think, saying. On paper, LeBron is the best. That's a good comparison. Yeah, but well, Jordan is just that will to I win. Think I think what he a, did. A rapper Aldra. is subjective. Basketball player is not. Yeah. Like, and I understand what you're making. You're making a good point, right? But you can be subjective with a rapper yeah. because there isn't a championship for it. It's the fairness of sports. But like, sports sales, is all merit. Yeah. Sports is there's all metrics merit. in music. There's Say sales what? numbers. There's, yeah, there's, there's okay, sales so then, numbers. So but if we're going to go by skill. sales numbers, then Eminem is the best ever. Or Florida. Yeah, but nobody believes. <laughs> exactly. Like, or, nobody yeah, believes yeah. that when you say it. And that's the same thing with LeBron. Like, yeah, but if you're, you're allowed just, if we're to just not, going by metrics, you're allowed to LeBron not bre- believe it in a in a subjective art form. Mm-hmm. Like you're allowed to some people think Nancy Kerrigan was the best. Some people think Tanya Harding was the best. Like when the bitches do that gymnastic shit, <laughs> you may just throw a number out, right? It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Right? But with basketball, there's numbers, there's statistics. How effective were they? How many points were they responsible for on the team? There's actual ways to to, ve- to measure their utility. And I bet you LeBron, every possession goes through LeBron. If he's not on the floor, they don't score. Oh, it's a good argument. Here's I my just, thing. I, I, I think I'm already say in LeBron's defense. And this is, you always knock it down. I say LeBron is the only great player I've seen, like top five, top ten, never whatever. Had a great coach. Never had a great coach. Yeah. And then you always point out that's LeBron's fault. LeBron doesn't want a great coach. Sure. Because he is the great coach. But LeBron, <laughs> LeBron, you know, and I do think part of that is he looks at every one of these guys like, I know more than you. Yeah. Right. But I would love to see him with Pop, who and he's like, honestly, oh, Pop probably knows more than me. Maybe I should defer. And I would love to see what he could do then. You know what? Yeah. But here's, here's I how I break down. Do here's I how I break down, like, LeBron's mind as yeah. far as, like, basketball. It's like, would you rather have... Would you rather have the head... Co- like, people call, like, the point guard the head coach on the, on the floor, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you rather just have a head coach on the floor... That's LeBron James. Yeah. It's like, it's, yeah, Still like wrestling. some people need really good coaching. Like the reason why the Spurs and the Celtics have been good, have remained good, is because their best talent has been their head coach. Okay. And their coach's mind to think the game. And if the person who thinks the game best in that building in the game. is also the best fucking player, yep. why do you need. But then he also plays GM and he doesn't build a great team and he might not just. Be able to play with the great. Team. I mean, he's played. Well, he's played him good enough to get the A finals. Sure, <laughs> yeah. sure. But I would love for him to win the A final. I'm a I, fan. I, w- I want him to win these A finals. I, I, yeah, I he want wants him to win them too. I, I'm pulling for them this year. Okay, look. I always the end up pulling up, pulling for them, in the, and in they the, could the absolutely win. I think somebody could get injured. I don't injured. think so. I think that some. It's going to take an injury. I think someone yeah. could easily 
easily get mm. injured between the Golden State uh, Warriors, one second, uh-huh. and the and uh, and the Rockets. I think that they're going to be going so hard at each other. Yeah. And it's such a run and gun style. I think there could be easily a massive in- injury, and all it takes is one of those guys who mm-hmm. LeBron can't be four. Yeah. But he's proven he can beat three. Yeah, he also has Kyrie true. when That's he true. beat three. And That's last, th- last thing that I want to mention all to that to point, down. he needs what happened to him the One. first time he went with Cleveland against Golden State, yeah. where he lost Kevin Love and Kyrie. That he needs, needs Durant to, to lose State. Steph Curry and Draymond think, or Steph and Clay. Think, and to One. that point, Cleveland fans, Ohio fans, if you're listening to this, please appreciate Kevin Love. Please give yeah. him his props. Wow. He's been hooping yes, the last two games. games. I don't appreciate it. And the reason why Kyrie left is because you, we were all LeBron, 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 LeBron. Well, here's Kyrie and his 40 something points, and that's okay. Like, no, you need to, you need, Kevin Love seems like somebody who needs appreciation and needs to be. I actually think his best quality is that he's, he's like, you know what? I'm just not going to be appreciated. Yeah. And I'm over that now. Yeah. I don't think he cares about I think he didn't like it at first. No, he's he's going gray. He's not even dying. I think at first he didn't like it. He's totally fine with people not appreciating him. I think he going to Cleveland, he accepted, not only am I going to be second fiddle, I might be third fiddle, mm-hmm. and I don't give a fuck, I want to ring, win rings. I truly think that he's a guy who wants to be a winner. Because yeah. he's even spoken about it. He's like, listen, I understand I'm going to get the blame for shit. I understand I'm the first person to get it. That's fair. And he got a fucking ring out of it, and he went to three finals. So, mm-hmm. And we do overlook that he had the stop on Steph Curry. Big that stop. Was a great stop. And he's not yeah. a good defender, but he stepped up in a huge moment. Talk about big three. Mm-hmm. Stop, block, shot. Yeah. Like, that's all you want from your marquee players, right? right? Is to make back-to-back-to-back massive plays in the finals. So I agree with you. uh, Appreciate love. Here's why I think LeBron is is the best ever. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I can't think of a LeBron comparison in another sport. LeBron is so unique. There doesn't exist an athlete in another sport that is akin to him in ability, size, athleticism. And not even just that. I, who I think, is, I think who the is closest, LeBron in soccer? The closest, it's not Ronaldo. It's not Messi. I think the closest uh. two we have, and even and one thing we're not even putting into account is like the hype that he had coming in. And it's let's like, include all that, but just let's go by sports. Name uh, yes, I say the closest, the closest at one point before he fucking lost it was Tiger Woods. Like, as far as, like, being, like, that child prodigy who lives up to the hype Forget and the hype. wins just, every— Just what and he dominates. does and physically. I got Tiger one, Woods maybe. is possible. Oh, just physically, one, what about, physically What about Brady? But Brady no. To do that in football is way harder back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. No, 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 but I'm talking about, like, what he himself as an athlete shows. Like, Brady has the athleticism of a substitute teacher. There's, there's oh. zero— <laughs> There's zero oh, so athleticism. athleticism. Oh. Okay. At, Michael Vick, maybe? No, too mm. short. I wouldn't say Cam that. Newton is the only one that's similar, and he's not even tall enough. Mm. I'm talking about a he for what LeBron does with for his dexterity, he is the dexterity, dribbling ability, agility of a fucking point guard, but he's six nine. This guy Judge, has maybe? the Aaron Judge has potential. To, to Maybe, be that guy. but we're talking about rookie. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> yeah. I mean, like it, it, no. I'm, I'm I'm racking my brain. Who has just like a physically imposing, but. The I, skill so I don't, and for that. this, he has I, a perfect body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who? Who? I don't Name see it in, in terms of Who? athleticism. I don't see it in terms of athleticism, but ability to do everything at your position. Peyton Manning? Maybe. Not, but he's not athletic. Enough. He's Maybe. not athletic. And he can't Maybe run. Serena Williams? Right. To a S- point. Serena? Sure. Serena. It's like you're playing against ladies. The comparison I always made like, across sports yeah. was Peyton. Not athletic. You're right. He's not athletic. So, but that's the why brain, I can't give him credit. the ability to throw, like the dissection of but, everything. But, does it, but yeah. LeBron has that and the athleticism. So give me Peyton, but with Cam Newton, maybe. Yeah. But you don't have it. Yeah. Who is, like, I can give you Jordan as a soccer player. That's probably Ronaldo. Or Messi. It's, I would Messi, say, I, I would think say Messi Brady. is, I think Messi is. Uh, Kobe. Uh, no, no, no. Messi is uh, Steph. I would, I would say Brady. Okay. Messi okay. is Steph. Brady too. Brady too. But Brady no. doesn't have the athleticism. You yeah. need that part of it. He's not just what? a smart player. Like, I've never seen, like... I think okay. it's tough for football quarterbacks. It's the... the here's the thing. It's also football, tough to be a, a power no, no, forward. No, no, I'm it saying tough to make like a comparison because football, there's 22 pieces on the field at sure. once. Mm-hmm. So it's really hard, unless you're the quarterback, to dominate a game. Give me a 6-9 mm-hmm. corner. That's what he is. You're saying just... 6-9 okay, so shutdown corner. athletic ability. No, no, no. I'm saying... Ev- 
everything together. Athleticism, size, but brains. that's that's my point He's is the they've never looked for quarterbacks to be athletic. Yeah. That's not something that ever mattered until that's, that's the same thing with point years, guards. fifteen years so ago. Question. That's the same if, thing with point if guards. there was somebody who was the best quarterback ever and he happened to be athletic, don't you think they'd put him as a quarterback? Well, yeah, but the, what if he didn't have as many rings as Brady, or he didn't he didn't seem to have the clutch factor that Brady had? These things would still come into play. Yeah, mm-hmm. but don't you think they put him at quarterback? But I, th- I think what he's trying no. to say is just hold like, on, hold on. Oh, you if think they, if they somebody throw was everything physically else, okay. the best quarterback ever? Yeah, if he could do everything like he's the best quarterback ever. Bro, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. You would but put LeBron, him at quarterback. Yeah, but so they just haven't done that yet because it hasn't existed. What about Gronk? Gronk is mm, Gronk might be the closest. He's kind of close. He's he's up there. Just as far as just as as far as physical. He's a Hulk. Yo, he's fast. Just, that's a great Gronk. Might be now we're ge- now we're getting someone who, and I'll be honest, I don't even know Gronk's uh, cerebral ability in the game. Does he Randy really Moss? understand? I mean, Did, I feel like football player. I think Randy. I think, I think football is like the one, the most cerebral. Randy sport. Moss, four two forty, six foot Moss. four, which is huge yeah. for a receiver. Apparently, super smart football brain. Yeah. Randy, Randy Moss is a pretty good. Comparison. I mean, he needed like one. It was one play, right? It's yeah, just, it's like just. But he the also apparently off. was yeah, smart. Yeah. And, uh, and the same way LeBron can drive all day, but that's not all he's good at. Right, mm-hmm. right. I'm just. It, it might be Randy. Yeah, all, all probably because like, it's like that, that's the same thing with. Uh, but that's comparing the same thing him to Randy with, is an insult. I don't think it's an insult because like there's certain games where like My like the other day stop even thinking. When about we're the just idea. like, yo, why doesn't LeBron? The guy doesn't even have a ring. Why doesn't LeBron just just go and just score every time he wants to. Like, he can if he wants to. Yeah. It's the same thing with Randy Moss. We're like, why can't we just, just throw it over the top for Randy Moss every well, time? That. We probably can't. That's and what Brady did. And they won 16 games and lost one. But that's what's unfair about, <laughs> for football, if you're a wide receiver, you just can't affect the game like sure. that. Like, yeah. LeBron always holds the ball. That's yeah, true. That's true. That, and that, that's, I guess that's to your point. I'm man. just like, saying. There's it, nobody who has that much control over a game. But that's, that's I'm saying basketball lends itself to that. There's five <sighs> players. Even hockey, you got five on five, but then line changes every fucking two minutes or whatever. Sure, but you can be a dominant hockey player. You can't. Yeah. You can't be. That's possible. And maybe it's Ovechkin. Maybe Ovechkin has that kind of size, but that, I don't know how athletic Wayne Gretzky is. I honestly he think that... He was little, though. He's tiny. I honestly he think that. that only lends itself to the fact that the best athletes on the planet play basketball. Yep. Like, well, some people would say football, too, but yeah, I'm with you. I think the best... I think even bad basketball players are pretty good football players. It's never the other way around. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you're not like, oh, I didn't make it in the NFL, so I'm going to go play point guard for the Knicks. Like, yeah. Char- Charlie Ward did that, Ward, and he was yeah. all right. Yeah. He's not like... A, an, an okay football player is literally Tony Gonzalez. Uh, I mean, an okay basketball player is literally like a Hall of Fame football player. Yeah. LeBron was a pretty good football player. Yeah. Like, if LeBron wanted to play football, are you kidding me? He would be... He would be... Gronk times five. Best, no, ever. Like, best ever if he wanted just, to play. If he wanted to, but I think just the no, best I athletes. Think so I think the best, best athletes play basketball who, who, you're or tell- soccer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't think LeBron would be the best ever at his position if he played football? No. I you don't. think that Tony Gonzalez is going to be a better tight end than LeBron James? I think Gronk could be a better tight end than LeBron James, yeah. I don't know, I man. First of all, I don't think LeBron is ready for that level of punishment. But if he was, if he trained himself for it, yeah. like if he, if you, if, you are if, still, if he's, if he's like 17 years old and it's like Gronk football, basketball, four football, games basketball, every year. it's like, you know what, fuck it. He's I'm not ready football. for that punishment. Yeah, I know because it's a fucking insane amount of punishment. So you, and but, also it's different. Like football, the first step doesn't mean much. If you're tight end, first step, big deal. Speed, 40 yards, huge deal. If you're playing receiver, you or tight think end. Gronk is faster than LeBron James. I don't think LeBron's 40 is faster than like a fast wide receiver. But we're talking about Gronk. I, I think it'd be close. I think I think Braun if it might be close, but he's Braun would, he's a lot faster than you give him credit for. Are we kidding? Are we kidding here? Braun like, would dominate. I think, he, I think he could play. I don't think he'd be the best tight end ever. I just you know, I'm saying Belichick if he chose... would trade Gronk right now for LeBron <laughs> James would. in a I just heartbeat. Don't think he would. I don't. I don't think about that. I think if he chose to be a, a, a if he chose if he chose football at as 40 his sport years old, he'd instead be of fine. basketball. Absolutely. I think he would be one of the greatest football players. I, I th- you know what? We're just... I just want people to understand, like, what we're witnessing, dog. Like, don't be such a homer and so closed off yeah, if you, if you, to not appreciate the type of greatness and, that we're watching right now. And let me right tell you now. why. Like, let me tell you why. And you I'm a Knicks that. fan, dog. I'll tell you like, why you shouldn't do that. I did that with Jordan. I didn't appreciate him, thing. and I regret it. Yeah. I went as a Knicks fan. I remember hating Jordan. Yeah, same. 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 And I would say... I would say things like Magic was better. I never watched Magic. <laughs> I was two years old yeah. when Magic. I would say I would say Bird is better. Jordan can't shoot like Bird. I would just I would just say things because I was upset. Mm-hmm. And 
it wasn't until I saw Jordan struggle against the Pacers, and I think it went to a game, I think it went maybe game six or something like that, but it was like the Pacers might have, I think it was Jordan's last run. Yeah, yeah. that was the year. That was the year, the last run. That's when I finally agreed to appreciate mm-hmm. Jordan and what he was. Do you remember when your Jordan is the greatest moment? Is? I remember my, mine. That, my my that Jordan said, is the greatest moment. All I'm moment. saying is this, is if you're someone young, I remember being in your shoes, and I remember spending time hating Jordan, and it was a waste. It was a waste And of time. if you can see it in yourself to just check that bias, you will be able to witness one of the greatest athletes in the history of sports mm-hmm. in his prime right now. Yeah. Don't hate that th- that person for no fucking reason yeah. because you're taken away from yourself. Yeah. Like you you can't not love the game as much as you do and not appreciate what you what you're watching. Just enjoy it. My thing, my moment where my 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 stop hating on MJ moment was exactly when he was playing, I think, the Magic in his first comeback, and he's okay. wearing 45. Right, right, And then he didn't play that good of a game, and then all of a sudden news broke out, like, oh, he's going back to 23. I was like, oh, shit, he's going back to 23? Oh, shit. And I was like, why do I care? I was like, no, this is awesome. Yeah, he's going back to 23. <laughs> and then, like, that whole next season, like, that's when he came out with the with the Concord 11. That's when Space Jam came yep. out. I was like, no, Michael Jordan's fucking rules. That's the me? greatest run maybe we've so, ever seen ever. Yeah. To have the Space Jams <laughs> and Space Jam. And Space Jam and, came out. And 72 and 10. And then he wanted to, oh, God, who's? Mine was flu game. That's when I was, I actually was sick watching it, but I was like, this is the greatest player I've ever seen. <laughs> this the Hennessy game. With, yeah. The Crown Royal Flew game. Flew my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this <motherfucker> been drunk. <laughs> the Maker's Mark game. Yeah. <laughs> fuck out of here. Everybody else on that court knew exactly what that was. Mm-hmm. He didn't smell like no flu. The reason why Scotty was hugging him because like he smelled like Crown Royal. Yeah. He <laughs> was like, ah, that's delicious. It's coming out of your pores. Let yeah. me get some. <laughs> Fucking paper cuts on his fingers from the God, blackjack cards. this is cards. almost a, a very brawn heavy show. Let's, yeah. uh, right, let's talk about the other Eastern Conference matchup, man. Can, can we'll we, call it, real quick, we need to, we need to uh, give uh, the no smoking section this week to our friend Drake. Nah, Drake. Um, this makes me so happy. I, I was really running low on reasons to hate Drake. I was out, <laughs> to be honest with you. I was out. And then this motherfucker has the nerve <laughs> to shit talk Kendrick Perkins. Yeah. I'm here in real life. You should be slapped in the fucking face, but dog. What, what did he say to him? He said, I like your uh, So apparently jo- uh, Jordan... My fault. Drake was talking to uh, Jose Calderon, who's on the Cavs now. Yeah, was on the Raptors for a while. Dude, is it true he's a billionaire? Yeah, apparently. Is, is that it? Real? That's, that's got to be a different Jose Calderon because I've no seen way. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, there's no way you're just playing both. I just fun. don't believe there's billionaires in Spain. I used to live there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fathom that anybody there has a billion dollars. Uh, so Drake was talking I to lived Jose Calderon well on like three hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that's like when well. I went to DR. Yeah, <laughs> like, I went to yeah. DR and like I can't like I spent like a grand total of like one hundred and fifty dollars at yeah, like but the time of my Spain life. Spain is supposed to be a first world country, <laughs> like, dude. And when I say supposed to be, there are some things that are not very first world. <laughs> I remember when my friends were in the south of Spain, which is even more third worldly. Yeah. They parked their car in a no parking spot in front of a precinct for three days. Not even a ticket. <laughs> Didn't even move it. No, they were so lazy. They wouldn't even leave the fucking precinct to go pull the car out of the way. Okay, but anyway, go on. So Drake's talking to Jose Calderon after uh, they blow the first game. And I guess uh, Kendrick Perkins was talking to him. And um, I don't know. Like Kendrick Perkins probably just comes off as an abrasive the story type of I dude. Heard from Kendrick Perkins. And then Drake that... apparently called him a pussy. So yeah, the story I heard. I heard... <laughs> Which is... Yeah, exactly. It's that. Like, that is the one word. That's like the Michael J. Fox, don't call me chicken. Like, you <laughs> call me. <laughs> What's that's that? the Back to the Future. Back to the Future is like. Marty McFly never wanted to be called chicken. Yeah. What? You never watched Back the to the fuck, Future? Man. What the fuck? Shit, oh, my man. gosh. Yeah, like, Michael J. Fox was like super relaxed all the time. But if you called him chicken, that's when he turned up. That's when he, but well, nobody calls me chicken, bro. Like, yeah, it's yeah. fighting words. It's fighting. Like, we can't go back after that. So yeah, that's yeah. that in 2018. You call another grown man a pussy. Yeah. Who would beat your ass? It's yeah. fighting words. But on the on the side note, kind of must be nice to be that rich. Yeah. <laughs> just, fuck you just to call somebody whoever the fuck you want. No, a pussy. NBA players fighting yo. No, of course. Got to hear Kevin Garnett Drake ain't said fighting. Mello's wife's pussy tastes like Cheerios, <laughs> and all Mello did is yelled at him outside of the fucking bus. <laughs> he ain't trying to enter the bus. He just knock on the door. The bus uh, driver. And, NBA the players door. don't want to fight NBA players. Yeah. NBA f- players will fight Drake. Oh yeah, they that's a different would. fight. I don't think yeah. they will. Now here's my thing. 
I don't think they would fight Drake. Either. Drake, fight Drake wouldn't fight Chris Brown. You think this man's gonna fight fucking? Mm. Oh, Kenneth Drake Burton? ain't fighting nobody. That's either. what I'm saying. Drake's not. No, I, I've heard you get stories, to a dude. point of wealth Thank where you, you don't fight. Yes. Rich people don't fight. It's Man. just like there's a reason why America doesn't fight here's, Russia. We just get Syrians to do it. So there's no. <laughs> oh and the same God. thing goes to for these hip hop stars. Hip hop stars don't fight each other. They just I get their security to do that shit. I have a story. No, oh, real quick about this Kenneth Perkins thing. That's how stupid Tony Parker is. Is that he got in the way of a bottle that was thrown at another what? security guard. I'm like, hits me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are you doing? This is what the security guards are here. Let them fucking fight. There, That's why Takashi's going to be fine. There's a story. There's an urban Real quick, not, the thing that makes this Drake thing worse is he also followed Kendrick to the locker room Saying like I'm here in real life, come see me. Like it's jug, it's over. You call him a pussy, you talk your shit, you let it go. Yeah. Don't follow the motherfucker like you want to oh, fight. Follow it's like when Chris Paul goes to the locker room. Yeah. Goes yeah. to the <sighs> Clippers locker room. Don't you don't want you don't want Drake smoke. Drake himself probably doesn't want Neither smoke. Neither of them do. It's like the man got a song called No Smoke. <laughs> free smoke. He don't want free smoke. Oh, free free smoke. smoke. Yeah. He ain't giving out no free no, he smoke. He was giving that shit out like healthcare. Kendrick didn't want that. Kendrick didn't want none of that smoke right there. Man, listen, I heard some Drake stories, dog. Keep thinking. Okay, what's the story? Keep What's thinking man? he won't get you fucked up, man. What's like the I've story heard some. You heard? It's like, uh, all right, I'll, I'll, to, I'll For retract he, names. He got to goons protect under innocent. payroll. That's He's got so, hella goons under payroll. Oh, of course, dog. somebody. Who shall not be mentioned thought that Drake stole a melody or a song to him okay. of his that kind of turned out to be a big song, whatever. And I guess, you know, he went up to him like in his house, like in his party, like in his house, like, nah, man, y'all fucked. And apparently the dude was drunk or whatever, but like he's a pretty well known dude and he was kind of like making a scene, yada, yada, yada. Drake did one of these. And then. <laughs> Doof, 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 stomp, 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 Jazzy Jeff out the house. <laughs> and it's like, it wasn't even a, it was it was one of those, like, you know, at first he's trying to calm him down. Like He nah, wasn't just, doing that to Diddy. It was, well, hey, man, him and Diddy are cool now, so who knows how that well, that's right. Diddy was resolved. <laughs> he fucked up his shoulder or something Diddy like slaps that. a lot of people, allegedly. Diddy don't give a fuck. Nah. Yeah. Rich doesn't. people don't fight, Diddy, Diddy fights. Some Diddy who cheeks. <laughs> 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 it's like, don't like, it's like, if I was that rich, like, you gotta slap some people. Because it's like, you'll, you'll never, that'll never come back to you. It's like, if I was Diddy rich or Drake rich, yeah. I'm... Beat him up a little bit, and I'm like, "Yo, bring him over here so I can slap him one time." <laughs> All right, get him out my house. What are these dudes doing shit. Something. That's the thing, man. All this fucking clap, 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 and yap, 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 and nobody's fucking doing shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess the no smoking section could go to him too, just for how sadly quiet he was watching LeBron just cook. Oh, up that was incredible because he was loud that game. One. Boy, he, he was, was clapping, loud as hell, clapping all, shit. all in the front, talking all crazy. LeBron shut that up real My quick. man is the Meek Mill of Toronto. Dude. As long as you sit in courtside, good things are not going to happen. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Man, I'm happy Meek's free, but boy, oh boy. Oh, yeah, he cursed him. Brett Bre Brown might want to send him back. No, that's totally true. I so, wish he got so the Sixers haven't won what? a single fucking game <laughs> since Meek Mill has been released from prison. What y'all need to do is apologize to that judge because that judge was trying to save your fucking city. He okay? won y'all a Super Bowl. She, she, she uh. won you guys multiple championships <laughs> by putting your bad luck curse in prison. And then you bitch motherfuckers came out here crying about, oh, it's unfair and the system is <laughs> fucked up. Well, sometimes the system needs to be fucked up for you to get some W. Out here, okay. Sometimes you need to sacrifice, and when you sacrifice, you win. All right. If you oh, watch no, the Avengers, no. you understand sacrifice. <laughs> Thanos trying to sacrifice half the fucking world Bro. so that the other half can live. All the Avengers willing to sacrifice their loved ones. Thanos so that was looking at Gamora live. like, "What do you mean your your country your your planet was mad peaceful after I killed half your people?" Exactly. You're welcome. There was like, you're welcome. Oh, "Hello." Like, yeah. there's mad resources now. Yeah. Like, your uncle dead. But your gotta auntie die. happy. You, know like, you alive, ain't you? Fuck out of here. Oh, I'm saying is Look at that his judge for yo, like if five I'm that seconds. judge I'm that judge I, yo you gotta tweet out some shit like I told y'all nah man. I <laughs> listen, yeah, I listen. told y'all I'm happy Meek's free yeah I'm happy you know what he went through was fucked up I'm a Meek fan you know what I mean shout I out to this whole squad He's bad but luck. it's like hey man hey Philadelphia what do you like more championships or <laughs> Meek Free. I'm just saying. I don't know. After a while, you got two already, so maybe they're like, you know what? Nah, we're, doing, we're not going to hedge our Dreams and Nightmares here. really don't slap his heart now that he's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. Yeah. When he was locked up, that shit, you yeah. forgot about Drake. Yeah. You forgot about everything, yeah, 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 dog. Yeah, yeah, 
You oh. forgot about them fucking mouth whitening commercials he was doing on Instagram. <laughs> You oh, forgot everything, no. man. I got was... hyped when the Eagles ran out to that shit. I yeah. said, yo, these motherfuckers are going to win. Yo, when he was in jail, that shit, that shit slapped like a church him, dude. Like, <laughs> it was like, I used to pray for times like this. Yeah. And now he's free. It's like, oh, well, he's free now. So, I hey. looked up the All lyrics. Right. <laughs> I did like a lyric video on YouTube for that. Because <laughs> I really wanted to know what he had to say. No oh, sound man. Say. That's a gr- it's a great song, though. It's now, no, it's a it's good song. It's not a great song. No, it's, it's a, a great, great song. 30 seconds. Seconds. No, it's a great no, this hold is on. amazing song. We don't will play not because then there's gonna be a oh, fucking yeah, issue yeah. with the thing. Yeah, yeah don't. Yeah, we, yeah. we could we could slam the Meek Mill all we want. Video in the in the thing that we know we can't play. Yeah, and then I get a message from YouTube like, hey, you can't with DMCA have this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can't. We're not. We're not is doing it, any more videos. Say what anymore. you want about Meek as far as like being bad luck and the music, whatever. Drake. Like Drake, all that shit. Like the best thing he probably will ever do in life. Go to jail. That dreams and nightmares song, bro. Oh, I thought that, it was, it's it's a oh. perfect rap song, dog. It's yeah. dope. It's a it's dope a ass perfect song. Perfect rap song, but it's definitely dude. not as good now that he's free. That's just <laughs> what it is. It doesn't it's slap as hard. He definitely knew. Dope. <laughs> he knew what he was getting everybody into, <laughs> and you could tell by the way that he hit that bell. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't, hit, the he bell. didn't hit that bell a little gingerly. He hit that like, shit mad soft, yo. Was, <laughs> he hit that shit like the doctor hits your knee to check your reflexes. <laughs> like he just tapped that shit with the wrist. It was all wrists. It wasn't even, yo, you just got out of jail. <laughs> I thought you were going to wallop that nah, shit. bro. You should have hit the bell I, like I feel him, dog. Judge. Like, it was like, bro, he's like, you sure I'm allowed to do this? Nah. I just got out. Yeah, he was still shook. Yo, dog, he's yeah, like, yo, yeah, listen, yeah. like, looking somebody, for his CO. Somebody's about to come up behind him. Yeah, like, you know, you're not allowed to touch hammers. Feeling the most ruthless mother fuckers ever this guy just got out of jail and you're like yo come to the game <laughs> here's some nachos you wanna visit your mom she can wait <laughs> they're like showers food <laughs> your kids fuck all that there's a the basketball game limo. going on let's yeah. go we need your good we luck we got this helicopter this shit didn't fill itself up for free and they lost three straight and they stopped inviting his ass to shit they're like we're bringing him to Boston they lost it was like alright we don't need him here for both games I think, I think one game was sufficient you know he's probably got shit to do back home oh, oh my fuck. gosh we can't I mean uh, we we could blame Miko as all we want, but fucking Ben Simmons, Jesus Christ. God. All that, he don't got to shoot a jump shot shit went south real fast. <laughs> it's crazy how fast everything changes in the playoffs. Oh game God. to game, your entire perception of a human being changes. Dog. Yeah, because you can strategize for each player. Especially, that- look, I got to apologize. Man, I'm, I am I fucked up this week, boy. Go for it. I fucked up giving credit to Toronto when they didn't want to come through for your boy. And maybe I was so hyped because y'all sold out the show so quick for me. I really wanted y'all to win, man. You guys flattered my ego so much that I just wanted y'all to be fucking Braun, but nah. And then uh and then I, I shit all over Brad Stevens. I don't know if you guys were even here for it. No, but he no, told me you were gonna yeah. at the shows you said you're gonna you said I can't wait for them to lose to Philly yeah. so you can shit all over. No, you thought they were gonna lose to motherfucking first round, whoever they played. Bucks. You yeah, know, yeah, they almost, almost did. did. They almost did. did. They almost did. did. And it was almost about to be another first round exit for my man Brad Stevens. But um, I will say this about Brad Stevens. I know everybody wants to call him a genius, and I think this this is this Boston media thing that they do, which is like they really they they highly tout the coaches. That's mm. what they do up in Boston. There's Belichick. Belichick. He's a genius. Mm. And what's it called? He's a he genius. He's a genius. And Doc Rivers is a genius before he was there. And now, was now he? people, oh, listen, he, he won coach of the year. He got that one championship. It's Boston it was like, media, oh, dude. He was a top tier Motherfucker traded for him. People don't for, people they people traded forget this. For Doc Rivers, That's people right. they traded for Doc Rivers. It's not like he went to LA on his own volition. He was so valuable. They were like, here, have a draft pick so we can have your coach. So I so, think that, that definitely is a Boston thing. Like yeah, well, no, uh, the Boston media run or Boston uh, uh, journalism, Boston media, they run the perception of sports, right? Like you mm. have all these guys that will, you know, you have Simmons, but also just regular the Boston Journal, whatever the fuck that Bob shit Bob Ryan is, is super respected. I know that. Exactly. Mm. So once they drop something, ESPN picks it up. Once ESPN picks it up, it just becomes part of the zeitgeist. Right? Yeah. And we're like, oh, yeah, he is a genius coach. Now, yeah. I will They're say They're right this. next door to each other. Bristol's. Boom. That's it. Done. Hop, skip it, and jump away. Right? So I will say this. I will say this about, and, and this is the difference between Boston and Toronto. Mm-hmm. Boston sucks their fucking team's dicks, <laughs> right? And then everybody else respects their teams yeah. because they have something back in them. Toronto media does not suck their team's dicks. They can't wait to discredit them on some like self-deprecating Canadian shit. I don't know what the fuck it is, but... So, yeah, you know, we tried, eh? Yeah, we tried we our tried best. Really yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, fuck all that. <laughs> so, 
It creates this genius perception. Now, Brad Stevens, is he, I will say this about him. Again, I'm not giving credit until he gets some victories. Mm. I mean, is Brad Stevens better than Mike D'Antoni? Nobody's calling Mike D'Antoni a genius, but Brad Stevens hasn't accomplished yeah, anything. But they did call Mike D'Antoni yeah, a genius. Yeah, that's seven Early seconds on. or less. I, I, call him, I call him a genius. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hearing it again. Genius. but yeah. I, I do, but what I'm saying is there are people that will give Brad Stevens credit. They won't give D'Antoni credit. So I'm like, you got to keep the same energy. Neither of them has a ring. They've both gone far with mediocre talent. I give, I give Brad Stevens the label because... I've been watching him since college, right. since like those Butler runs, and when, like when I was like really into college Anders basketball. To Andrew's point, the Butler shit. team that also didn't win, but they got, but it's Butler. Yeah, the fact sure. that Butler yeah, but they're, they're was one now. championship one well, because of him, like he established that culture over there to right. where it's like okay, like now this is the program established by him. So now it's not just a, it's not a surprise if Butler's in a Sweet Sixteen or Elite Eight or some shit like that. But before then, they were they were nothing. Fair. I guess I this guess is, what I, I'm trying to say is I'm waiting for him to prove to me that he's as great as other people say he is. I think other people are just of already ready to give him the crown. What would what would, would make that championship? Because he's new. Championship. It's because mm-hmm. he's new. Now you might be right. What he might be is Mike D'Antoni East. Mike Probably. D'Antoni came to the Suns, took a team that wasn't supposed to be good, mm-hmm. made them much, much better than they were. That's what he does. Still never gets his team to the finals. Brad Stevens might be that for the East. Now, the one thing we need to see is next year he gets Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. Right. Oh, and yeah, then nah, that team is year. talented, yeah. like super talented, yeah. and then we see what he does. If he doesn't make it to the finals next year, yeah. and I think you're going to start hearing it, if he doesn't make it to the finals next year, that genius shit's going to slow down Fair real, real he's, got, he's got a year he's or two new. to really Here's one thing, And I think that's a great point. I think there's one thing that just bothers me about the whole Brad Stevens uh, commentary, which is, and this is what Boston Media does, right? Boston Media will go, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, are superstars, incredible players. How, how do you have these guys that play both ends of the floor, athleticism, they can both shoot threes, they're incredible players. And then in the same sentence, they'll go, Brad Stevens is doing this with nobody. He has <laughs> nobody on his team. Right, right. How is he able to take a team with literally nobody? <laughs> Hayward's there, not there. Kyrie's out. He's taking a team of nobodies to the finals, and it's like, or uh, far in the playoffs, and it's like, which one is it, guys? Because well, I look at Jalen Brown, and I look at Jason Tatum, and I see them as future superstars, but current great players. I think they're better than any other players right now on the on the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think both of them oh, yeah. You think arguably, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are better than Kevin Love? I think they're better I, than yeah, Kevin Love. I would take I think they project them. to be better than them, I but think, like right I think now. Right now effectiveness. Yeah. Uh, because Kevin Love ain't scoring off the ball. Kevin Love's not playing D, man. Fifty percent of the game. He's not really he's a liability fifty percent of the time. I li- I li- and I like Jason Tatum a lot. I like him a lot, lot, lot. But I, ooh, that's speeding. I, Son, I, 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 I swear it's it. Boston media. It's <laughs> Boston media underplaying the players. And I think on some level, they might realize that it's better to value the coach than the players. Because once you big up the players, they'll leave. You establish the culture, though. Exactly. You establish the culture. This, like, is, a, oh, this, this is, is a Patriots thing. I truly believe it's, it's not a, the Patriots way. It's the Boston way. Or it might be mm. the Boston way. I, I, and I mean, it might be the way to do it. Because what do we do in New York? We suck a player's dick. The player has all the leverage. The team gets fucked up. Bye. Why yeah. don't we suck a coach's dick? Why don't we suck Fizdale's <laughs> We're dick? We're just sucking the wrong dicks. We in need New to start York. sucking That's some dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you know? that, so, that, what I will say about Stevens is this, and I have to take this back. Mm-hmm. He out coached Brett Brown especially in those final moments of the game where he drew up the plays. He knew exactly what to do to expose oh, of 76ers and he got the best of him. And I have to give credit where credit is due. That game was won through coaching. I, th- I think he out coached. He, he's, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I say this all the time. I'm a basketball junkie. So like I watch the game, like probably different than a lot of people watch it. Yeah. And like the way he gets like Shane Larkin, was on the Knicks for like a, he, and I think he actually listens to the show. By the way, yeah. he's he's he was on the Knicks for a while. Didn't really get as much burn as he should have. He first of all, Shane, you cost the Mavericks Giannis, so whatever. <laughs> he um he he manages to to he does something with players where he accentuates their positives so much and hides the shit that they're not good. Like Shane Larkin's like five ten soaking Yo, wet. Yo, Shane, you know Kaz is trying Al to say Holford. you used to be a bum. And saying, <laughs> once you got with Brad Stevens, he made you not a bum. No, you know but, what I mean? that's the polite way of saying it. And yes, we all know. 
Brad it's, Stevens is a point guard fucking guru. Yeah. Like Terry, he's got Terry Rozier. Rozier is, he's about to get paid, yo. Like, Terry but, Rozier was Rozier, good, but yo, nobody Rozier, thought he was going to be this good. Son, Rozier's My man is Chris trolling Charles Eric <laughs> Bledsoe. Remember, when, remember yeah. when Chris Childs had, was balling out with the Nets? Yeah. And the Knicks signed him that big fucking contract, and yeah. then, you know, RIP, he fucking sucked. <laughs> but like this, I mean, he's our yo, logo. He's, he's our logo. Now, we fuck with him heavy. He's our logo, <laughs> but he sucked with the Knicks. He had one. I don't even want to co sign this. I feel uncomfortable co sign. I'll co-sign it. He could probably two-piece me like he did Kobe. He sucked with the Knicks. The greatest play he had on the Knicks was punching Kobe Bryant in the oh, jaw. That was man. the greatest thing he did. That's the greatest play the Knicks had on the Knicks. No, 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 no. We no, miss a lot no. of layups. We do miss a lot of layups. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, I mean, like, it's... Four-point play. The greatest reason why I, I like... Larry right. like Johnson, four-point play. Brad yeah, Stevens yeah. is so... He he just draws up matchups really well. And, like, for certain games, like, even if you don't watch the game a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can see when someone's being clearly outcoached. Yep. Where it's like, when you see somebody just expose a weakness over mm -hmm. and over mm -hmm. and over mm -hmm. again, and there's no adjustment at halftime, or they just do it the whole game, or they don't take advantage of the mismatches, that's being outcoached. Yep. You're like, right. if there's if they know something's coming You're and right. they can't stop it, if they're like, okay, we're down by one or it's tied up, we need to get the yep. ball to our best player in his spot, yeah. and we all know what's going there, and they still got it off, and they still couldn't stop it, even with their best defender and, be, and best player and bead over there yeah. being left out on the island. Yeah, that's amazing coaching. You know what's and he, crazy? And it seems like that happens with them a lot. If Kyrie didn't get traded to Boston, mm. LeBron would probably go there. Yeah, they would have crazy cap space, high draft picks, good young players, and a good coach. It would be Philly with a good coach yeah. and players that probably fit him better. What yeah. a team! The size alone. Jeez, man. Jalen, Jason, Braun, Hayward, and then Horford. whoever at point guard. Everything is a perfect switch for Kyrie. Okay. They gave up what? Uh, Crowder and Isaiah Crowder, Thomas? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look. Guys that we thought were good with Brad Stevens and then weren't. And then weren't as good when they left them. No, we, and, and it's amazing what they what they pulled off with that. But And real quick, if we just go back to, fuck, what were we just saying? Rozier? Coaching? No, 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 just matchups? Literally LeBron. Right before the trade thing. Um, um, LeBron on um, the matchups of Brad Stevens and oh, uh, Horford. If, uh, Horford. Not enough people are talking oh, about yeah, how true. exceptional He's Al great. Horford is playing in the playoffs. Yeah. He's great. And two things. One, you know who's really being exposed here? And maybe this is Brad Stevens' genius. Uh -huh. He finds your weakness and knows exactly how to expose it. D'Antoni doesn't know how to expose nothing. No. He has one fucking play, right? <laughs> and it's so genius that he has a nuclear bomb. Yeah. That's what he has. He just all, has all the rockets are are the Phoenix Literally Suns. Literally nuclear rockets. The Phoenix Suns, but you got... Two a Steve shooting Nashes. guard playing Steve Nash. You got two yeah. Steve Nashes, and the other Steve Nash is like a dynamite scorer yeah. as and, well. And we're going to get to how fucking soft Harden is in a second, but <laughs> because it's infuriating to me. But 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 I will say this: he has one play, he has one offensive set, and it's really hard to stop. But it's very effective. He's not going to out coach you in terms of strategy. Mm. Maybe he'll drop a good play. Mm. But Stevens will literally. He, Stevens looks at Embiid and he goes, "This guy is a freight train." Once he gets going in one direction, he is physically not capable of changing. Yeah. yeah. Like once he, if you watch Embiid close out on a three point shot, and this is what they've been doing to Embiid, they have, uh, they have Horford be on the three point line. Mm -hmm. They'll have a swing, a swing, and the Horford will pump fake. Embiid starts going in that direction. It's literally stopping a freight train. Yeah. He jumps up stops, his knees just can't handle, maybe he's a little bit out of shape, but mm -hmm. they can't handle that quick thing, and his recovery time is horrible. But that's, that's and, and, and the wild thing is, Embiid's a pretty nimble seven-footer. That's just all seven-footers. And that's why stretch fives and stretch fours are so hard to defend. Yeah. Because if you got to come and respect the three-point out there, mm -hmm. they're not they're not recovering if— Can't recover. You it's know what I mean? If they're, if, they're, if they're too— If they're leaned one way too far, yeah. like, that's that's time. That time is precious. And, and the motherfucker could shoot— it's lights out getting all day. Exposed. Yeah. Embiid is getting exposed, and it is, it's like sad to see him move because I always looked at Embiid's Euro step and I was like, oh, this guy is so nimble. He's so yeah. agile. He can do it going in one direction, yeah. mm -hmm. but he can't switch it. Who's, who's That's Willie, asking a lot, though. Willie Cauley Stein, right? Yeah, yeah, Had yeah. an ankle surgery. Literally no offensive game whatsoever. I saw this guy once jump on a pump fake. The guy who pumped him went to the basket. He catches up and blocks the shot. Mm. At seven feet, 
it was mind boggling to yeah. see. Yeah, I but he's he's a lot. He's a little. He's a little bit more slimmer than he is, he, he's. Than he's Embiid. agile. Embiid's like fucking. He's built like a tank. Exactly. You know? And it's great when he's in the post and he's banging. And he's an amazing shooter. But he, you can expose him at the end of the game. He had mm-hmm. a couple big fuck ups at the end of the game. Yeah, dude, they had massive rookie fuck ups in that game. I mean, they're, first they're of still all, a young team. Man. Simmons on that in, inbound pass that got stolen. Did you see him one hand that? <laughs> Are you fucking retarded? You w- <laughs> he one hands a lot of passes though, but like in, in the crunch time, I'm crunch like, time. bro, you need to thumbs down, thumbs down on thumbs that down on the chest pass. <laughs> and what the, yo, honestly, I need the fundamentals, dude. You gotta have McConnell do it. I know it's such a big advantage mm-hmm. that you have Ben Simmons because you have the height mm-hmm. yeah. and the vision. But in a crunch time moment like that, you, first of all, do not put the ball in JJ's hands unless he's shooting. We're not yeah. having JJ dribble. Yeah, you know, and or just let McConnell get the ball. He'll get it in there. But you see, you see all these things that we're explaining. That's an example of being out coached because a You're good right. coach knows to do that shit. A good coach is like, I'm putting my best scorer here, here, here. We're drawing this up. If this doesn't work, we're going to here. That, that, that. You, you're not even, I mean, like, you know basketball, but you don't get paid for this shit. But even if you're looking at this, like, why is J.J. Redick passing the ball? Why is this guy passing with one hand? Why All this shit that we don't even think about. Brad Stevens probably has thought about this a million times and has drilled it into their head. So they don't make those mistakes. The great play where they cleared it out for Horford down low. Mm -hmm. And Horford gets this one-on-one with Covington. And he's too big for Covington. Dude, I have so much respect for Horford, man. Yeah. Over the regular season. Consummate professional. Fucking professional. But over the regular season, just kind of played normally. Yeah. And this is like, I think they gave him max, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I think he's a max player, yeah. Just played normally. They gave him max. Maybe got criticism for not playing bigger in I the think playoffs. They, I think um, I think Stevens actually uh, like reduced his minutes during the season so he on could purpose. on purpose wow. so he could like let him loose in the in the playoffs Son, and shit. He's, which is he's he's not fancy. He's just he's effective. effective. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm not sold on Brad Stevens being a great coach. He could okay. be D'Antoni. He could be. Steve Kerr, I don't know. Mm. But he has been a mastermind this series. Yeah. yeah. You can't Definitely. say not. Definitely. Yeah. You can't, I mean. And it's and it's and it only speaks to how good he's been that everyone kind of expects him. If, if they don't beat the Cavs this year in the finals, oh, you better beat them next year when you have Kyrie and yeah, Gordon next Hayward. Next year is his year to decide Brown. if he's the genius. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think that you that's a great point that you're making, which is yeah. the idea that we can give him this le- this long leash. Yeah. We're giving Brad Stevens a long leash. Mm-hmm. We'll give him a long leash, but it starts getting reeled in once you have your whole yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. But just look at all the players who are who have like not been as effective in other places since leaving Boston. Like Kelly Olynyk was a featured player for Boston when he was playing with Brad Stevens, and he hoops. He hooped in Miami. Though. He's good, but playoffs, it's like he he's not a f- like he's not a he's not moving no needle. Nobody's better. Yeah. Like it's, everybody takes a step down. Avery Bradley, who I was Avery Bradley, a fan of. Avery. Avery Bradley was averaging damn near nineteen a game. And what happened and with him signed, in Detroit? Signed a big deal with Detroit, and did he sign it or get the traded? Or he something? got traded. I think got traded. He just he wasn't effective. He just Whoa. he wasn't being put in positions to succeed. Same thing Isaiah Thomas said. He's like, you know, I'm just not, I'm not being, I'm not being used like I was in Boston. That is translation for, I'm not being put in these advantageous situations. In Cleveland, like I was in Boston, that's why I suck. Not suck, but like I'm not putting up 30 a game. I'm yeah. just putting up 30 a game almost. Easy. Just King of the fourth. Up 30 a game. Yeah. Like. Ham, Brad Stevens and Danny and Danny Ainge together, it's sickening. Yeah. It's like nauseating. And and the wild shit is like Danny Ainge just eat a lot of shit for like not pulling the trigger on these big trades or like not trading picks for like Paul George or all these mother. You think this motherfucker is spending a dime on Paul George this year? No. When I got Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Gordon yep. Hayward coming off an of injury, Terry Rozier, Kyrie he Irving. He traded down to get Jason Al Tatum Hoover, too. And we got a pick this year? Come on, dog. So here's the like, question. After it is so obvious that Brett Brown has been outcoached, mm. Does the team lose respect for him? Oh, no. I hope not. I, I don't, don't know. I mean, I don't How do you keep this guy around? I I'll mean, be, who's out there? This is the most important, and I don't know who's out there, but this is the most yeah. important time for the 76ers. They got two franchise players, mm. both in their, what, first and third year or whatever, second, yeah. third year. You this gotta this is like capitalize a first, now. Like real season, sure. like yeah. Really you gotta so make. Good. You gotta give them a great coach now to maximize what they can do. And, and look, he might be a very good coach. I'm. I'm wondering, not the organization. I'm wondering as a player. Like, let's say you're in the army. 
Mm -hmm. and your general gets out coached or whatever that would be called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like seeing your dad get beat up, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But like, so let's say you, 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 you get out strategized, mm -hmm. right? And then it happens again. It happens three games in a row, three fights in a row. Yeah. How much longer can you fight for that guy? I, I don't like dog. If my general is leading me into battle and we stay losing because not because I can't shoot good, mm -hmm. but because he's getting out, He's getting out strategized. Yeah. By the fourth time, I gotta go. I'm not going to the front lines, dog. Give me a new general. Yeah, like I'm dying out I here. Can't go to war with this. And dude. it ain't my fault. Yeah. I'm shooting good. Yeah. But these guys are up in a hill shooting down at us. Like so, at a certain point in time, you're gonna lose respect for Brett Brown. I mean, I think for one, he's got to throw Markel Fultz out there. Like he, like bro, just put him in the fucking game, dude. Do do something. And secondly, it's it's. I think he's he's the fact that he was there like in the beginning of the process when they were like crap yeah. and like this is the first year that he's starting to see the fruits of what he's built over there. Yeah. I think you kind of got to stick with him. And on top no, of that No, I'm not saying organizationally. I'm saying players. Oh, just as a player. I think players will lose respect for this guy. Like just as the players on the Celtics revere Stevens, mm -hmm. like I, they, if you even hear them talk about him, oh, he's a genius. Horford was saying genius. Yeah, he said it right genius. In the post They're game. throwing genius out there. Mm. How do you don't even hear them speak about Phil like that? Or Kurt, have you once heard a Golden State player call Steve Kerr a genius? No. Have you once heard a, uh, a great you know, players will make any coach look legendary? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't think of the last time I've heard like the genius pop gets term. reverence. Yeah, pop. That's it. But like I've never I've never heard like the term genius thrown around so loosely for a coach. Yeah. And such LeBron a and time. Kyrie were giving it up to him last year in the playoffs. Yeah. They're giving up to Stevens. Yeah. yeah. I mean Dan Tony other had, teams throwing it out there for Dan Tony only because he kind of like he he, he brought doubles a different, everybody's salary. That <laughs> and he brought I would like call a, you a he, genius too if I could buy a house in fucking Barbados. He brought a different style Dan of Tony changed the league. game Dude, to the absolutely. to the league, right? Dude, Clinton Clinton whatever is fucking Capella. Capella. Capella is going to get a massive contract and it's not going to be with the Rockets. Yeah. And he is going to let down whatever the fuck. I've that seen game this story is. happen too many times. Yeah, of course. Biz Mac Biombo, Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin. <laughs> Jeremy Lin. What did the Rockets give him? God. 40 million or something like that? Some shit. I think it was 80 million. It was a lot. It was anyway, a lot. But yeah. we get, Mike D'Antoni gets you paid. That's that's for damn sure. All I'm um, saying is this that genius shit is being thrown around by the team. The team is giving him respect. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I I, I think it, the, these. The, I want to see what he does against LeBron. I want to see what he does against LeBron. If they both sweep, if they both finish, I don't know how the game's going to play out tonight. We'll know tomorrow. What is the score of that early game, Alex? We got a score on that. I'll, I'll pull it them? up while we're talking. Right now, it's Monday. What do you think? What do you think uh, the Celtics Cavs series is? Ooh. I don't think they win. I don't think the Celtics win. I think the Cavs. I think Celtics win a game. Uh, yeah, I can see maybe winning two. Okay, Maybe Sixers two. are up by four points, two minutes left in the second quarter. 45-41. And this is in Boston? No, it's in Philly. So we'll see how this goes. But I don't know, man. Like, I really do think uh, this next series is going to tell a lot about both guys because if Brad Stevens is the genius we all say he is and LeBron's the legend that we all say he is, but with that same genius mind, yeah, shouldn't LeBron win? Yeah, <laughs> LeBron win what? The say you know the Sixers. I say the Celtics. And, He's saying and Cavs in five. And Cavs I'm saying Cavs in five. Out. I'm saying Cavs in six, maybe five or six. Yeah, Cavs in five or six. Yeah, like I'm done counting LeBron. <coughs> yeah, I'll never count. The only way I count him out is if he plays against quite possibly the greatest basketball team ever assembled, which is a healthy Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Oh, they put out that you, death lineup yesterday for the son, first time. The Iggy. Uh, KD at center. It was unfair what but he was doing. you know what you got to do? And I can't believe they didn't do it. You got to bully. Yeah. You got to. And that's what I mean, it's, uh, it sounds. It sounds like an easy thing to do, but it's like you've got five all-stars, five shooters. Yeah. And... Two of the three best players on earth. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, and your third wheel is probably like the second best shooter in the fucking, like, 
Dog, that is a that is a, a basketball version of like bringing a, a a bazooka to a knife fight, dude. It's the Avengers. <laughs> it's like it's the it's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. It really is the Avengers. It's, the Avengers. It, it's the fucking the Infinity Stone. LeBron is Thanos. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. but but Thanos yeah. needed you know you know everybody that, that, like uh, Thanos was needed three movies to come finally come out like all right, motherfucker. Also, you, <laughs> it's you, my you need turn. some helpers. We seen we seen Infinity War. We might talk about it later. But yeah, everybody yeah. that was like underneath Thanos was also a badass. Like the Avengers were having trouble with Thanos. As Minions. Yeah. yeah. LeBron ain't got no minions. Yeah. yeah. Ebony Maul was giving giving uh Iron Man the work a little bit. <laughs> no, Doctor Strange the work. But um, yeah, no, it took it took it took Thanos a couple movies to get there though. So like I would say the Warriors are the Avengers right now and they're having a good time. But one day LeBron's gonna get those stones and snap his fingers. Done. Like something something's gotta end that dynasty. Dude, there could be an injury. I I truly believe there could be an injury. Bring balance to the universe. I think and even with balance. Steph. <laughs> I think the Warriors would beat the Cavs, even without with Steph being hurt. I mean, I think if I think if Steph or KD goes down, it's a series, and I think LeBron has a good chance of winning. If like Clay I think, I think goes more down, Steph than KD. Then, uh, you think Steph's more important? I think than KD. Yeah, Steph's he makes more it go important more. to that team than KD. Unless they do, if they do the fucking That's death fair. lineup, it's KD. That's but fair. if they go out with their regular lineup, Steph going down and Steph not being as effective as he should be. Yeah, because who the fuck is gonna go like? Dude, imagine they put that lineup against the Cavs. Who the fuck is gonna guard? You put Kevin Love. Oh gosh. On on. Like I'm getting KD? like KD. <laughs> like, You're twitching. You're I'm, I'm getting like the twitch. Disappear. It's like okay, and you could you could throw a combination of Draymond and Andre Iguodala at LeBron, Steph and Clay are cooking. KD whoever. kind of low key. KD is kind of marked up LeBron these last couple times they played. Yeah, he yeah, did. yeah, he did. But I'll take LeBron in that matchup. I would love I would love LeBron in that matchup. <laughs> But you just I don't, don't want LeBron chasing around KD. That's what I'm saying. Like KD has a lot less uh, of a load to carry, and the and the and the and the uh, you know the discrepancy in talent yeah. is too close. You're gonna throw a fucking Larry Nance Jr. At KD? Yeah. No, 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 you don't want. I think you got to put Jr. And I know he's much smaller, but like I just think you got to throw your so best they, defender. They did a bunch of like replays during that Warriors game yesterday, yeah. where there's hands directly in Katie's no, it face. Matter. If the ball gets and up it here, does it's not fucking yeah, matter. He's not even dog. looking. Like That's he's that, not like you're uh, not even there. He's, he's seven from the feet. Matrix, dude. It's it's, it's, <laughs> it's all like there. I think there was some show or something like that where like, uh, or maybe it's an old fable where like this blind guy was a uh, mailman and he delivered the mail for years or something like that, and <laughs> he didn't even. He was. He had done the same thing so many times that he didn't even see himself doing it. Mm. Something to that extent, and I think that's just where KD is right now. It's like mm. elbow jumper, eyes closed, yeah. totally fine. Yeah, I think I think they nullify each other, but the war is just too deep. To the coaching's better. They got so much. Even like Quinn Cook is like turning into a pretty good player. It's a backup stuff. It's like. <sighs> It's an embarrassment of riches over at Oakland, and I'm just like this. I who's going to get these injured? Guys? They got, it's got to be an injury. It's got to be something like that. I'll be in San Francisco this weekend, by the way. Really, 10th through the 12th at uh, Punchline Comedy Club. Come out, come see the shows. I love San Francisco. It's San really Francisco's dope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bunch, of, uh, bunch of ugly chicks too. So all you that's ugly why they're chicks, gay. Come on out. Yeah, there's no options. That's what I got. Like, I'd rather it's gay. fuck I'm dudes. Not it's gay in a, in a <laughs> negative way. There, like it's just really you know. As soon as you walk, like the only thing you can say about San Francisco, you walk in is like, yo, it is so gay. <laughs> yo, who is it? I think we had a friend of I think a friend of ours said this, but like, uh, like no city's gayer than New York. I guess, but like this shit Son, to balance it out. New San York Francisco is, the only is like city with five gay neighborhoods. <laughs> a friend of ours pointed this out. That's I forget so who the fuck funny. it was. Really, I Hell's Kitchen, it, Chelsea, Hell's Kitchen. Soho, Chelsea, uh, West Village. It just, West Village, the villi- yeah. The Dude, village is like New York's anus. There's one in fucking. <laughs> 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 It's funny, all the neighborhoods on top of each other, exactly. like the gays. <laughs> but seriously, it's one after another. It's the only one. I'm sure there's one in Queens. I'm sure yeah. there's one in Brooklyn. It's just nonstop. Yeah, I don't think there's one in Staten Island. I doubt it. But yeah, probably like, not. You yeah. guys run them out real quick. Police <laughs> like, will show up we'll in fucking Yankee yeah, hats. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that's the thing. So we say that shit about San Francisco, and then mm. I'm sure gay dudes from San Francisco come here. They're like, what? what? This shit so is gay. gay. I mean, it's like, I don't... Here's the thing, like, it's not about the neighborhoods, it's just like, it's it's literally the only thing you could say about San Francisco when you walk in there. No, the ugly girls, man. What are it's you talking about? You're <laughs> overlooking a massive thing about San Francisco. Oh God, the never... cuck culture, they're creating Dude. AI that's going to kill us. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yo, my friend Alingon, Mitra, funny comedian, said the funniest shit. He said, AI is like, 
like the White Walkers in Game of Thrones. Like, yeah. we're all worried we about all, all these other country. threats, North Korea, and these fucking guys in San Francisco are just building these robots that are going to kill us all. <laughs> That's San Fran. Also, the ugliest women, maybe outside of Boston, in America. <laughs> yeah. It's West Coast Boston. Dude, it's the ugliest chicks on the fucking planet, bro. Oh, I remember I Andrew and I did a show there. Uh -huh. with, and we're walking down the street, and then a girl walks by us, and Andrew just goes, oh, my God. <laughs> I just saw a real life of one. <laughs> it's true. Uh, true. I didn't get a good look at him, and he was like, "Dog, there true. was like the only I've never seen a one before." Yeah, I not, didn't notice that. Not though, disabled. Like, nothing, I spent like not two, like retarded or anything like oh. that. She was like a per, she was born as a regular human being, and <laughs> so ugly that she was a one. And it was just I spent like two months in San Francisco doing the uh, doing the Marshawn Lynch show yeah. for, for for BR. Yeah, and. Easiest I two had, months of faithfulness. Yo, know, I had like, no, no <laughs> problem. There was no Not issues. Like, girl called me up like, hey, you know, here, chilling, Dude. working out, eating right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, taking care of myself it's incredible dude it's like there was no temptation and even the all. ones that are like try to be hot they, they don't even fucking take care of themselves they all wear like Birkenstocks and shit they let the hairs grow on the bottom of their legs it's a horrible culture for attractiveness it's really bad and you'll be there this weekend I'll so be enjoy. there all weekend not fucking you <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all come out I really appreciate yeah. you dap me up after the show but you keep your lady armpit away from me your fucking hair coming out of it <laughs> oh man shout out to the Yankees they're doing good stuff and we don't really follow baseball, baseball but the Yankees are doing good yeah. so shout out oh, to them oh I should acknowledge that when I say uh, ugliest girls I really mean white women uh, <laughs> they should be specific yeah be I don't know because the Asian chicks there are cute some, Latinas are cute some. black oh, chicks yeah. there are cute but the white girls there are fucking dude paint yeah. your toenails get your fucking life together dude what is the, dude never will you see more flesh colored toenails than in the Castro district or the mission of the San Francisco yeah dude that's like that was America Dave Chappelle said that was America's anus the Castro the Castro yeah I thought the <laughs> Fillmore or something is the gay neighborhood out no, there I don't know but I remember He's doing, I think for what it's worth. There's one like, called no, the Tenderloin. 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 No, that's there supposed to be the hood. That's supposed to be yeah. the hood. Maybe oh, it's gay. When I, my, like, hey, every neighborhood in San Francisco sound gay. I just remember him saying yeah, yeah, yeah. the Tenderloin. I'm in the mission. The tent <laughs> missionary. Like when a dude's fucking legs are wrapped around your waist. <laughs> Everything sounds freaking gay. Tenderloin. People mission. were telling me Tenderloin is supposed to be like a dangerous neighborhood when I was out there. I was yeah. like, get the fuck yeah, out Yeah, that's what he said. He was like, I'm scared. He's just for your butthole. Yeah. Oh man, what else we got this week, man? Um, Harden. God, we talked so much basketball. What do we you talked have? a lot of basketball? Thoughts? You guys, can... Harden. Meh. Or we could talk about Redskins pimping out their cheerleaders. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's do you sad. know what the story is? Um, I did read this. Well, story, real actually. quick, the Drake the Rihanna thing. You promised you're gonna tell me on air. Oh yeah, the Drake yeah, yeah. Rihanna thing. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said Drake, Drake had a bad week. Drake just had you know, a bad week Drake overall, hate. man. So Rihanna had a, a cover story in Vogue, I think. Yes. And um, I'm, excited, I'm excited about this. They asked uh, Rihanna about you know Drake and how they are, and he said. If I way to zoom in on the cock, yeah, Alex. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, I, I think she said something along the lines of, you know, I don't hate him, but we're not friends. Okay. And um, you know, social media had a field day. With I think that. That there was something they said, like he said he loved her to her. And yeah, it like got uncomfortable. It was and really no uncomfortable. Friends. And if anybody ever watched that, um. I've been VMAs. in love with you since I was twelve years yeah. old. Yeah, he said, which is like so much. Like on one point, I was kind. It was it was very fucked up to me. And this is before I even know the whole story. Because I'm like, yeah. oh, like she's getting the Video Vanguard Award. Like this is about her. Like can he you, really like, made it about him. He really made it about himself. And yeah. I was just like, oh, that's kind of a dick move. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, that came after that came out literally the night that LeBron like scorched the earth <laughs> with those eight fadeaways. So between Rihanna pretty much like dubbing him, which is, you know, there's, there's not many worse people to get dubbed by. Like I'd gladly be dubbed by Rihanna happily. Yeah. And um, LeBron kicking his ass and Toronto's ass and silencing him. And even LeBron's son was like on his Instagram comments talking about, yo, your season ends tonight. And Drake, <laughs> Bronny? And, yeah, Bronny, little Bronny Jr. <laughs> was Bronny. like, yo, your season ends tonight. And Drake responded, 
No, my season starts in June. <laughs> Talking about when his album drops. <laughs> Which is a very, very, you know. You go, get your money, get your plug. He's like, yeah, I know it's a rap, though. What do you want me to do? That's, that's, a, that's a good way to throw the towel in. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Rihanna's hurt. Do you? Why even mention it? That's some hurt bitch shit. Is it? Think about it. Is it? I Why mean, would you even bring that? If like, if it did take two to tango, so like that's when what people I'm when people say like, on, oh man, yo. she never did. I'm like, all right, listen, let's let's pump the brakes. Why would you even logic. say that? Like, if you don't have feelings for anybody, you just go, you just go. No, no, oh yeah, you know, me and Drake are cool. I, mean, I haven't spoken in a while, but I'm yeah. sure things are always good. Mm. She specifically said. He said he loved me. It made it awkward. Now we're not friends. You're trying to embarrass that man. But something happened, yo. All right, but how like how do you know something she's happened. not she's not she's not holding back too? Like maybe there's something worse. And he and that was that maybe that maybe was her. Maybe he's a rapist. Maybe that was her version. No. <laughs> oh wow. All right. That got dark fast. No. <laughs> okay. Drake Cosby. Right. He got a point. He he did. Did. I'm not just gonna accuse rappers of rape. You know what's uncomfortable? Rape, bro. Oh rape is uncomfortable. God. Point. Oh, he has dude, been putting out no. a lot of women empowerment songs. Yo, that's if some I to cover, shit. If I want to cover up some shit, I might do that. Get Hannibal on the case oh. right now. <laughs> if anybody knows how to expose this Hannibal, it's Hannibal. Oh god. Nah, but for real, it just seems like you're hurt. It does you know? seem a little hurt. You're She's hurt. always hated him too much for it to not be anything. And they were friends. She they didn't were, hate him. They I mean, were cool yeah, like, for a minute. They, they made a lot of jams together. They did a little like, twerking they, and shit. Yeah, I think were... he ain't call her back. I think she w- she didn't want to be with that oil billionaire. I think she wanted <laughs> a little bit of Drake, and Drake wasn't having it. I think Drake. I think Drake moved on her. I, mean, I think she was so upset she started eating and got fat. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. I think Rihanna. We've been because no matter what Rihanna does, we act like it's like so brave. Do you know what I mean? Like, what you mean brave? Rihanna out here fucking eating chicken tenders every single day. No, I love thick Rihanna, bro. Pounds. I'm sorry, Kaz bro. a big yeah. fan of thick I'm Rihanna. I'm a big I, fan yeah, of thick, like Rihanna, thick Rihanna, though. I'm, I'm good on thick Rihanna. That's, y'all, 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 y'all I like thick that. and thin Rihanna. I just like Rihanna. <laughs> no, thin Rihanna, like, that's... She was bad, too. I said this, I've, I've tweeted this many times. Maybe this is her way times. of getting, like, getting rid of Drake is I'm gonna get fat and get dark skin dudes. Bro, so like she me. was not fat. Thin <laughs> Rihanna was like... I've always said thin Rihanna is like that Steph Curry MVP year when you broke the records for the three-pointers and then he came back and smashed that record by like a hundred more three pointers yeah. and became unanimous. Yeah. Like I didn't know I needed Rihanna with, with titties. And then once she got meat on her and just looked like an oh oof. Delicious. Yeah, thick no, Rihanna, thin Rihanna. I like, take I like a lower calorie Rihanna, man. <laughs> Me too. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I like, I like a diet Rihanna. Rihanna. No, Rihanna. Like Aspartame Rihanna. Rihanna. Shit. Give Listen, me vegan Rihanna. I like extra plate Rihanna. Fuck that. Me, Keep your plate. Give me Extra turkey nice. gravy, Rihanna. Second crazy, helping, Rihanna. I don't think you like that, but you know. Give me Atkins, Rihanna. I do. Yeah, but man, it's I soft. Like. You like Kylie? Say what? You like uh, Kylie she, Jenner? I mean, she's all right. I'm not, that's like not my dream you girl. Used, no. uh, really? Kylie? You, you talk about Kendall? Nah, he used to I like, like Kylie. Kendall. Kendall, but Kendall fine. Kylie, Kylie, really? Kylie I'm yeah. good on Kylie. But Kendall, oh, fine. I'm good on, like I think Kendall's the prettiest also. Yeah, Kendall's yeah. the prettiest. I mean, Kylie's yeah. fun for a night because she got a lot going on. But Every like, like an anime character, Kylie. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's too I'm much. She's like a brat's that. doll. I've jerked yeah. off to anime. So I'm not, <laughs> anime. Gonna, I'm not going to not God. fuck the real thing. You know what I mean? Not <laughs> anime. Not some old I'm bitch. I thought you said like anime. Tina Turner. I thought you said anime. I'm like... Oh, anime, like the Jap- Jap- Wait, Japanese so animation. You're the uh, people they put that shit on porn sites for? Wait, what? I never wonder, like, I always wondered, why do they put anime porn People get on? off like, on that Yeah, stuff, I mean, man. I don't know. Why not? I thought it was just Asian. Mean, why no, not? I it's don't not... jerk off to it all the time, but I have In Andrew's defense, there's horse videos on YouTube. All right. Yeah. This you know is, this mean? is, like, this I've jerked is... off to that, too. <laughs> 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 no, I don't, I don't jerk off to any of the animal stuff. I'll watch it for fun. I watched that once uh, for, on Thanksgiving. With oh, my as family. as we're speaking, yeah, yeah. Rihanna right now, right now, times. right now, the Met Gala is going on right now. Right? <laughs> Rihanna <laughs> Gala. This is this is actually has to do with Rihanna. Yo, we need to we're, stop supporting we're, whatever Rihanna does, yo, bro. All right, well, I love Rihanna, but I don't think. All right, wrong. so this is what we're doing. Everything she does, she can't do nothing. The Met wrong. Gala is going on right now, right? She That's came. What is she wearing? And the theme this year is yeah. uh, Sunday best. That bitch are like the mom and coming to and America. Rihanna came like dressed. Queen. Let me see. Like she a came light skin. dressed as the Pope. Let me do what? She came dressed as the Pope. Wow. 2018 though, Alex. And oh, she there looks it is. fire. <laughs> oh, but this is thick Rihanna because she got the like armpit titty. <laughs> she like she looked like a hot auntie. Y'all, yeah, I'm not y'all into y'all that. Y'all are bugging though. I don't listen, man. Listen. No. 
This is yeah. a, this is a, this doesn't be something we just like, gonna have to disagree I don't on. Like that. <laughs> Yo, you like that arm titty shit? I bro. like titty and then arm. I don't like that bro. little mid titty shit right here. You're worried bro. about the wrong part of the meat. <laughs> it's like it's like you're eating a a, a whole chicken yeah. and you just like you like the little nub at the like dog. Nobody Man. cares about the nub. There's so much good meat over here. Like there's. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah, We're but just I'm gonna not, to agree I'm to disagree. Going, oh shit! That's I'm not cool. gonna eat the meat regardless. <laughs> so I'm just gonna look at the meat, and if I want to look at the meat, you know, that's what I'm gonna you look cut, at. You cutting the, you carving the wrong parts of the turkey was no, what I'm saying, I, man. No, like, but it's like, you're trying to like eat the bone off the drumstick. It's like nobody eats the bone off the drumstick. There's too many you comparisons gotta, about Rihanna. Just don't like Rihanna. <laughs> I just don't All right, want chicken, Rihanna. Steph Curry, yeah. whatever you want to do. Listen, we just prefer the thing Rihanna. Rihanna, I, I listen. I will. I'm a stand dog. Like she could do. No wrong in my eyes. Really? Like, to me, that's just me. She's that's just, cool. She's just she's just what 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 bubbles my my tea, dog. Like she's just <laughs> to me. I'm sorry, bro. Like what she's just. Fuck? I just <laughs> made it up on the spot. I'm like, I don't yeah, even know what the I fuck know you that did, means. But tea don't even have bubbles in it unless it's from Korea. Unless it's like fucking boiling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, because bubbles your water. Bubbles my water to make the tea. Yeah, but you don't put the tea in first. They don't. What, do you put the milk in before your cereal? What kind of sociopath are you? You know, I mean, like, that would save you some good milk if you poured the milk first. I stand by this. This isn't a, this isn't a controversial take. It's okay to pour the milk first. I, I sit here as someone who has hung out with Rihanna before. Ah, oh, so, me too. But my story is probably skinny as good as Rihanna. I did hang out with skinny Rihanna once. I feel like I told the Rihanna very, story. Yeah. Very cool girl. Yeah. Very nice girl. Very sweet girl. Mm hmm. Prefer her skinnier. It's just me. That's uh, that's that is you. If we're girl. objectifying people, I'm going to tell let's you. Let's objectify. Exactly. Let's objectify away. Let's. Yeah, I'm just saying how it. I like my you know celebrity. I like my celebrity. You like her thicker. I like things to move on my woman. You know what I mean? Like no, no, I don't. No, no, I like. No, 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 I like no, no. softness. I like the. It's. No, it's no, just no. what I like. I just man. Don't want you to outweigh me. Of, of course, she's not I think that, that's most guys. That I just don't weigh that much. So, she, well, you know yeah, I mean? well, yeah, that's true. But for me, it's just always I'm always going to prefer the smaller girl. <laughs> Listen, Big Rihanna to me is like San Francisco hot. <laughs> that, now that's a like yeah. that is that is that is harsh. That's a little harsh. <laughs> All right. I called Drake a rapist eight minutes ago. What are you getting on me for this for? And this is this is the that was the line to cross. You can call Drake a rapist. <laughs> Saying Rihanna is only San Francisco hot is when I have to be oh, like, no, fuck, sir. I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> San Francisco hot. Oh my god. So, no, sir. That's, that's what we should start calling fives. San Francisco hot. Yeah, yeah you're a San Francisco eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Dude, it's bad, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna start taking pictures of. Them. Uh. Boy. That's gonna be on my Instagram. My Instagram story is just gonna be pictures of all like the ones, twos, and threes that you see <laughs> that I see walking around in San Francisco. San Francisco is the only city where you see people and you're like, are they homeless? You're not sure. You're not sure, and they could they could absolutely not be homeless. You gotta. Ask. I feel like that's why they made sex robots because I was walking around San Francisco like I can't do any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is no good. Just give me the robot. Mm -mm. I'll make a robot. Fuck this thing. <laughs> I'm totally okay with it. That's exactly why they got they came through with the robots, though. All right, anything else, guys? Um, I think. Oh, where were we at? It's a long Alex? one. Yeah, it's a long pause. One forty-one. Oh yeah, no, that's that's seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did you want to say about... anything about Avengers, guys? If you're listening, and you want to watch the Avengers episode of Wester Bros. It's up now. But oh, we go for can it. also give you some heat on Avengers here. What is your what is your take on Avengers? I got so many takes that okay. will probably take us over two hours. So well, I'll why don't we just... just give a quick one each, and then we can then we can go. Um, Black Panther in Avengers is similar. To Ben Simmons in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you got me all excited for this. Rookie of the year. <laughs> Son. Bro, I was so disappointed. I'm wearing a Wakanda Forever hat as we speak. Son, he's a trash superhero. Oh, my God. I said this before the movie came out. And people, took... of course, they called me racist for some reason. The Jesus fucking, his superpowers suck. He sucks. It's like he his best superpower. By everybody else in his own movie. Oh, my God. What's his best superpower? Getting beat up. His best up. superpower is getting beat up yeah, so yeah. he can use it back on you. That's it. What kind of... And nails. Yeah. And <laughs> his, his manicure and police brutality is his, is his best superpower. <laughs> 
That's it. That's it. Oh, you watch yeah. the movie. You might and as it's well like, be a black trans dude. That's it, exactly oh what is. God. That's exactly what his superpower. I watched the movie so dis, and you can tell. <laughs> Don't call him. You can tell they filmed forever. this all Save like RuPaul's in the same runway forever. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like the stock flew the, flew down so low. He has a great walk. Oh, the walk is That's fire. The best thing about him, he has a great walk. He'd even say, "Get this man a shield," like I expected him to say it in the in the movie. Oh, he did. He, he did. did, but he said it all different. Like he didn't yeah. say it like mad dramatic, like they yeah. do in the commercial. Like they really, yeah. they really fucked with us in that. Get movie, this man. man a shield. Yeah, it was like that. Get is this man how a shield. he speaks. I was like, what? Ba, 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 da, ba. Not for nothing. Like Shuri's probably doper than he is like at least sure he uses guns at least he shoots people dude and you know who's fucking dumb who winter soldier yeah can he be killed like bruh i think that's the new captain america right i think he's about to be I think he's gonna be the next i think that's what it was in the comic books dude. yeah like he the winter soldier or falcon sucks. eventually they dude he's, he's, there's no charisma on this man whatsoever first of all he's doing all his work with one arm <laughs> for what I mean, he did have that cool moment with the with the with Rocket with the raccoon when he picked him up and was like shooting him. Oh, that no, was, no, no, that no, was no, cool. No. But like, but he should have died like in Civil War. Like, I would have killed him. Fucking die! He's <laughs> fighting a super aliens with an AK forty seven. That is your that, Captain America's a shitty superhero. Yeah, sh- you can't say Black wrong. Panther's whack and Captain but America's. At least, good. At least who Captain said, America. Uh, who said that? Okay, so we need. I'm saying we need to acknowledge I've that Captain America on also Captain sucks. America yes. for fucking yes. years. Okay, good, mm-hmm. good. I hate you I and think, I hated the movie. We first saw the movie. We saw it together. Horrible hated it. movie. Nah, the, the fucked up shit. My brother two defends two it to this day. Better. Captain America yeah. two to me is the best. That's crazy. That's the most flagrant take we've had. What? Me defending Cosby is not bad. Soldier saying that's the best movie. It's the best Marvel movie. Movie. Yes, it yeah, is. Winter Crazy. Soldier wasn't that bad because you it's have good. the fucking Winter Soldier guy. As long as he's fighting humans with an AK-47, exactly. that's fine. It's cool. But when you're fighting intergalactic beasts with an AK-47, mm-hmm. like you don't feel a little a, a little weird. Dog, it was like it was it was watching that shit and seeing like Black Panther send out like all the troops and just have shitty fucking strategy on Why how to keep them out. 40 people in Wakanda? And he gets all the troops, to... go to the front. And it's like, Dave, Tom, Jack, are we all here? Okay, cool. Let's do it. The Avengers like, really? This is how you protect all of Wakanda with seven guys? Dog, they even... didn't even have enough for a full fucking court game. There was seven, there was eight, eight <laughs> fucking Wakandans that know how to throw a spear. That's it. Where are oh all those bitches God. that were good at, fight, at fighting? Lord, they were... It's... Even a Koy, even a Koye, they had they had Scarlet Witch like waiting in the back, and then she comes and like wipes out half the people, and she's like, "Why the hell was he? Why was she waiting back there the whole time? <laughs> why are we over here fighting and dying?" Another <laughs> hot take. Another hot take. I said this on Western Bros. So if y'all listen both, I apologize, but mm. every female superhero's power is her period. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to explain this. <laughs> I need you to explain this. What is when Scarlet Witch uh, is yeah. is doing things? What does she do? How does she affect people? What does she throw at them? What color red is it? Red stuff. <laughs> it's a red beam. It's a red beam it from her a, thoughts. A red beam from yeah, from her thoughts. I bet it is from her thoughts. No, it's right from her fucking fallopian tubes. What about Scarlet? Scarlet. Well, first of all, Scarlet Witch, right? What color is Scarlet? No, no, Scarlet Johansson's character. But let's go back to just Scarlet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Scarlet Witch. Red. Scarlet is red. Yeah. Witch is what a girl turns into on her period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're just calling her... A girl on her period. PMS. Scarlet Just Witch. call her PMS, right? That's call a great nickname for when your girl's so on her about, period. what um, about Gamora? What about the Guardians? Chick? What about her? What's the, her period? Uh, they, got, they got the girl, the girl that like controls emotions, which I guess is, you know, who makes you sleep. Mantis? Who? Oh, the Asian chick? Yeah, the Asian joint. Yeah, yeah, but she's like part insect. That's fucked up how we just all knew she was Asian. Yeah, I, yeah, I've been calling her the Asian chick. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like never mind the antennas and just like, no, yeah, you're no, the, she's Asian the Asian chick. chick. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, Jean Grey, right? Yeah, Jean Grey. What does she turn into? The Phoenix. A fiery Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> she just gets real angry. She just gets fucking pissed. That's and all that happens. Dies. She gets pissed, people die, right? <laughs> she turns into a red fiery Phoenix, gets pissed, everybody else dies. Uh, just an uncontrollable bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uncontrollable bitch. And Cyclops is hanging out with her so much, he's shooting red shit out of his eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> and even like Professor X is like the strongest dude. He's like, bro, I don't know. Like, I, she, usually, <laughs> she usually listens to me, man. I don't know what to do. There's yeah. nothing I can do. I can't control her. There's no reasoning with her when she's like this. I'm doing my best. I'm begging her. Nothing. She's just doing whatever the fuck she wants to do and terrorizing everything in her path. Just wait for this to That's pass. It. That's it's the like, only hope. It'll pass. It'll pass. Why do you think Wolverine's so upset? Because <laughs> he's stuck in that fucking mansion with all these girls cycled up on their periods. <laughs> Dude, and you just once a month have to go through superhero period time. (laughs) Think about it. It's fucking horrible. Show me that movie. (laughs) There's one week in that mansion that is hell. The saddest part about it is Wolverine can't die. So he's been living this for like literally. Why do you think he's exhausted, bro? Why do you think he's so... Where'd Wolverine go? He took his motorcycle and just left. Yeah, for a week. So you don't have to deal with your fucking twats on your period. Okay? Uh, And what is the Russian girl? What is her name? Uh, God, who's the Russian girl? That's the Scarlet Johansson. Yeah, Natasha. Oh, yeah, yeah, the the Black Widow. Her name is Black Widow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She know. has no powers. She's just she's a spy. She's That's it. She has no powers. Show. Yeah, if you have no powers, I can't talk to you. She's hot. If, if she, her power is being hot. But if you have a suit, if you're a girl superhero, guaranteed, it has to do with your period, your power. Name anyone. Any, because think about who writes this. It's mm-hmm. a bunch of nerds that don't understand how women can be strong. And they'll be like, well, when have women been scared? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. They get really scary on their period. So maybe when Scarlet Witch does something, they could have made the color of the, the, the shit that she has blue. They could have made it orange. They could have made it pink. No, it's fucking red. menstrual red. red okay. Red it looks like a Cavaliers place. away jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Name another superhero. Oh, gosh. Oh. She Hulk. <laughs> what color is she? Green. She's green. Yeah. Oh, she is green, right? She. Yeah, she's green. She's Wonder she's Woman. Green. Red. Wonder Woman. What did Wonder Woman do? Come she. On. She has a lasso of truth. What's up? And uh, I was good, bro. How you living? Okay, she's a lasso of truth. Yeah, she whips you with the lasso and makes you tell the truth. <laughs> Sounds like some shit that a girl in her period would think of. <laughs> That's a stretch. You add on She-Hulk. Okay. No, no. no. What else? What else does uh, she have? She has other, another thing, right? She has an invisible plane. She's an invisible plane. She's what super else? strong. She has like uh, you know, she has the, the shit with the, the the arm bracelets. Doesn't she have some like ring thing? No, that's the lasso of truth. I didn't real. I didn't watch this movie. I didn't I don't know. Fuck. I tried so I tried puts- DC. I really did. Like Justice League was trash. I really gave it a yeah, shot. Anyway, it's trash. <laughs> Fuck it. Whatever. Marvel. Maybe it's just Marvel. They know how to make women strong. They do. Uh anything Good else? For Marvel. Um, no. I thought it was a great movie. I think I thought uh, it was super fun. Man. Two, we talked about two things that they do that DC just doesn't ever do: relatable superhero. I mean, yeah. bad guys, relatable villains. Yeah, like I'm looking at Thanos, like this dude got a point. <laughs> yeah. This dude should win. It's, it's like, just a snap of the fingers, and you're good. Yeah, yeah, like DC. The difference between DC and Marvel is Marvel has gotten really good, especially in Spider-Man: Homecoming, Black Panther, and Infinity War, in making villains. That make you go. Doug, Daredevil? Kingpin is so That's fucking relatable if you watch the Daredevil That's series. That's the point. It's no. like Thanos wants to commit a universal genocide. And he's like, you know, I've traveled the, the universes and we're just running out of resources. And, you know, our no. only thing is. He's not to, blaming any race. He's like, it'll Snap be fair. Fingers, yeah. Whoever goes, goes. <laughs> What's great about it is he goes, it, it's, it's going to apply to all classes, all genders, yep. and mm-hmm. all races, right? So he's not just taking out the poor. He's not just yeah. taking out the rich. He's not. It's not the purge. Yeah, you know the purge is let's just kill all people. Those are those movies, the purge, right? Mm-hmm. That's the idea, right? Mm-hmm. So like, we get the poor people out of here. They're not going to be a drain on society. Whatever. He's, li- I'm just going to kill everybody. And then literally, what I've said in on Westbrook is he's he's Mitt Romney. It's like Mitt Romney goes into a company, <laughs> fires half the people, and then the other half the people get to keep their jobs and makes the company profitable. And that's that's what he said to uh, Gamora when he was like, "You destroyed my planet." He was like, "Well, actually, uh, we killed half your people." And, and he, actually, he about it, dog. It's been he, a prosperous. He sacrificed his daughter for this. <laughs> he didn't want to, but he's like, "Man, she got to get done." Yeah. It's like yoink. Man, this is practical. The- <laughs> and the second thing they do is it's just so fucking funny. I never found the DC movies funny. Yeah. That little scene where. Uh, Thor finds out that Gamora is Thanos' daughter, and then he just puts his arm on her. You think it's going to be all tense, and he's like, families can be tough. And then he just talks <laughs> about Loki and all that yeah. shit, and they just go back and forth. So funny. Yeah. All Thor, like, Thor has went from 
He's he's. I think he's had like the biggest like growth as far as like people I've been interested in. Like, oh, super I had zero. Like, I had in zero interest in the first two movies. I thought None. he was. I thought the first movie was great. Second movie, that was bad. No, yeah. I I'm I had zero interest in him. No, as in a four movies before the even movie. Right, yeah. I thought the it was gonna be got as me fuck. in. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was gonna be some like Game of Thrones shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but like once I saw Ragnarok, I thought Ragnarok was probably one of super funny. It's by far the funniest comic book movie. Guardians is up there too. Guardians is up there too, but definitely Ragnarok. Yeah, and then this motherfucker. When he comes in in Wakanda and hits the fucking axe for the first time, and he's like, bring me that. Yeah, yeah. Though, you, you would have thought, like, Porzingis dunked on LeBron yeah, yeah, yeah. how loud my theater yeah, got yeah, when he was yeah. like bring me Thanos yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone was like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the Hulk was like oh you done messed up now yeah, yeah. and then they all still die which is I guess Yo, Hulk <laughs> it was a great moment though mad pussy dude. <laughs> Hulk is mad pussy dude super pussy first time in his life he experiences some adversity and all of a sudden he's, he's like I'm good it was you the, the first time you know who the Hulk is Roy Hibbert <laughs> <laughs> right big seven footer Holy probably fuck, never been in an good. argument or in a fight in his oh, entire life man. he gets g-checked by somebody fucks Holy his girl fuck. or some shit like that oh I forget what happened something happened in Indiana and then he gets g-checked in a preseason game when like, he was on the Lakers, he gets slapped by some other guy. Didn't even make the league. After that, I don't even know if he's still in the league. I don't he's probably think he's playing in, the in fucking Siberia somewhere. Over. Yeah, done. Like, Game he had, over. He had them good seat, good uh, playoff series against like the Knicks and the Heat. Confidence. And the Royal like, "Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm Bye. good." Bye, it's, confidence. That's there's something about big people. Like that pick on someone of your own size shit David is Goliath, real. dog. It's real, They're not though, used like, to it. They're not used to people checking them. Nah, that's why you always got to go punch the biggest dude in the face. Because sure. a lot of times, they've never been punched in the face. Yo, you just got to see how they react. Sometimes comics are like that. Comics will be all ball busty, and then you bust their balls, and they can't handle it. Because they're not used to yeah. Yeah. They're not <laughs> yeah. used to being snapped no. on. Hell no. Anyway, yo, thank you guys so much for listening to this, this podcast. I know that we had an announcement this week, but we want to work on it a little bit more mm-hmm. before we share it with you guys, okay? But it's good stuff. But it's good, it's stuff, good stuff. Good stuff in the works. Um, again, thank you so much for pre-ordering my uh, my debut comedy album, 551. Please continue to pre-order it. There's links on uh, theandrewschultz.com, my website links i'm always posting on instagram i love it when you guys send me the uh the screenshots of you guys buying it man i want to make this number one let's make this number one i want to be the first comic that's never done comedy on tv to have a number one comedy album that would be let's do it so oh shit do that shit talk to me flagrant to merch.com go to flagrant to merch.com go to flagrant to merch.com get that shirt get that hoodie get that whatever that hoop anything it really helps you know what i mean it helps you know not just in our pockets which we really appreciate but it's really dope seeing people take pictures with the merch and just being able to get the word out you know help it helps gets the word out starts conversations with people it's it's nice so you know we really do appreciate that and uh continue to visit that site and buy some shit um hey oh wow my fault do say palooza in two weeks hammerstein ballroom we are almost 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 sold out um hammerstein ballroom is the first time we're doing it there it's a legendary new york venue um, we cannot wait to get in there. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday, get your tickets on dosepalooza.com and pull up. Fire, and oh, shout out to everybody who comes from flagrant that are flagrant two fans. Like, you know, that I, I didn't make it to the DC one in a stadium, but um, you know, there's a bunch of people that are like I were telling me like, yo, there's mad people in like flavoring two shirts let's here. Like, go. Yo, I love it, shows, I'm like, yo, let's do it, man. Honest, if, whenever if you got I'm the merch, at my shows through. and people are in the flagrant two merch, I always make sure I get that picture, man. Yeah, I man. like to repost. I like to just and tag me in that shit. I just like to collect them, man, because I love to see that we're touching people it's all great. over the place. You know, Akash and I were in in uh, Texas this last a couple weekends ago and tons of people from the podcast came up keeping it tight throwing the assholes up so it was crazy oh, it's, yeah, it's wild you you wouldn't believe how many people like I spent like a good week in LA last week that like I ran into somebody in the motherfucking just walking down Hollywood Hot. like going to the gym Hot. and somebody's like you're, you're the podcast right keep yeah. it tight he, he spoke barely no English Yo, he's go. like keep it tight keep it tight so, so I, I forgot the kid's name but shout out to him but yeah. like that's that. Listen, we're all we're we're in we're all in the entertainment slash you know pay attention to me business. So Absolutely. yes, we the never pay get to me business is perfect. We never so get whatever tired. The fuck this is. We never get tired of any type of compliments. Like so, please like buy the merch, show love, throw it up, keep it tight, all that shit. And, and just you know. the support, man. I can't tell you how much this business is changing, bro. It's like people couldn't people couldn't believe it. Uh, even within the last like year. You know, just for me personally, like people 
didn't even understand comedy clubs didn't even understand that a podcast could bring people in mm -hmm. and then having these comedy clubs you know starting to like sell out these shows they're like oh my god this is he's not on a sitcom on on abc how is it possible that people are coming How's to sell it out? exactly so we mm -hmm. in the future we literally are operating in the future right now so and it's my goal that we have this like tight tight connection with you guys and and keep on riding that shit because that's the security if you ask me because they could take away shows they could take away opportunities they could take away all these things but they can't take away the relationship you got with the fans so thank you guys for supporting us keep it fucking tight and uh we'll see you next week man we're excited about it peace all righty okay guys okay we're back we back we back